Here we are. Welcome to the 35,000 P reassembly fleet tournaments. Woohoo! I've been so stoked to start this one. This has been, uh, it's been, it's, there's been a, bit, a lot of anticipation for this one. I've been receiving a lot of emails and a lot of hype over this particular tournament. So much, in fact, that I think, you know, going forward, we might even do something a little bit bigger too as well. And this might end up being kind of the mid class. But I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't know if my computer is going to survive this today. I, I really don't. Um, we've got some fleets here that are pretty massive. We've got uh, Wone with 378 chips. Oh, uh, crazy, crazy. Uh, uh, before I even talk about that, let's talk about who's in today and how we're going to organize the 35,000 P tournaments. So, because, um, for those of you that are watching the stream, you can't see this, but I'm going to show the uh, spreadsheet, the magical spreadsheet. So, we actually have 140 uh, official entrants for the 35 P tournament, 35,000 P tournament and uh, yeah that is the most competitors we've had for any one particular tournament so I've had to make a, a tough decision one that's you know it's tricky because you know I've been doing a lot of reassembly lately and uh, it's just I've been really really busy with other things too as well so because I'm doing so much reassembly other things I'm not doing on the channel so but you know what we got to do what we got to do and uh, I think these these tournaments are something that I I, I don't know I feel it's kind of my own it's kind of ours right I, I really like it so um, I, I don't want to mess it up. And because of that, I, the, when we do si or anything more than 60 people in a tournament, it gets a little hinky for me. It's, it just gets too long. And I think the two hour video was just way too long and it was too long for me streaming. I think, I mean, what did I stream? Like, I don't know, four or five hours that day, at least it's too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to split up the tournament into three sections. So this is going to be part one, two, and three, and then a finale like we did with the 15,000 P turn, but but I think we'll we'll do we'll we'll talk about the finale uh, when we get there because I you know I, <laughs> I don't know we'll we'll talk about that. But first of all, we're gonna so 140 competitors. We're gonna start with the first 50, and then we're gonna split the 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 last two sections down the middle. So I don't know. I th I think this is gonna be pretty fun, and I wanted to do 50 today because you know just get the largest chunk done today. But uh, let's go through who's gonna be in this tournament today. So we've got Alex Legs, Casey Long, Kudawat. Dark Faction, Dragonium, Ecor, Footman 187, FFG, Adam, Garden Gnostics, uh, Jantera, John 2S, Leo, Madness uh, 2552, Nifty Cat, Remix, St Strongman Bro, Talon, Thesaurus, <laughs> looks like Thesaurus, but it doesn't sound, I don't know. I don't know. Waffle 007, Waste 47, Wone, Zero, Spelt with an X, Albert Louis, Jops, I think he said it was supposed to be pronounced Jupes. But I don't know. I'm your your jobs to me. <laughs> Welcome to my world where I pronounce your name however I like. Uh, Ix Albin, Emerald Spiders, Father Truth, Wraith, Mr. Creeper Ha huh, is supposed to be in this one, but I think there was a problem with his ship, and you know maybe we can get our problem with his fleet. So maybe we can get that fixed for next time for him. I'm just gonna make a note here. Perfect. Jonathan James, Lucky DGL, Radica Reaver. Radicator Reaver, I mess that one up every single time. Uh, Shades, Casper Wil Wilson, Sandstorm, Ike Theodactyl, Sir Boomalot, Ethan125, Lapups Now, Halora Sir, The Evil Pickle, Exciter, Cool Rune, Ripley, Ethereum, Ikwik, Amazing, and Astonic. So, yeah, we've got some big names in there too. And, uh, yeah, just lots of returning competitors. This should be a lot of fun, actually. And let's take a look at the fleets themselves. So I think there was only one that was just a little bit over and it's because they're using an old, there was an old version or something. Yeah, so this one here, it's only like 14p over. You know, I, it's, it, he, he entered early, he was using an older version, that's fine. It's Rob's version of alphabetical, it's not true alphabetical. It's like a little bit, but not totally. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at the fleets here. We've got, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got a fair amount of spinner fleets, but again, not that many. We had a few people um, do a little spit shine and kind of a buff on their fleet and resend it. Oh, isn't that cool? Yeah, some neat, uh, oh, melees, yeah, some melee spinners. Yeah, this should be really fun. And you know what's interesting about this one is, yes, we've got some massive fleets that are probably, I don't know, is my computer going to survive 312 ships against, you know, another 378 ships? That'll be six... Like, almost 700 ships on the screen. That's going to be crazy. I, I don't know if my computer will survive that. But I guess I guess we'll, we'll see here. Uh, but, you know, one of the things I have noticed is that more fleets than these big... These fleets with lots and lots of ships, more of the fleets actually have fewer ships in the 35,000 
fleet or in the 35,000p tournament because people have just built bigger ships just in general because they can, right? Because they can build up to 8,000p in this particular tournament. So that should be really, really interesting. Another thing you'll notice today is that the chat is on the bottom left hand corner, which is probably going to be a little bit... Uh, difficult for me to watch as easily because I'm going to be looking to the top right and missing stuff. So if you happen to say something and I miss it, I apologize. As far as uh, who's here, um, there's lots of people here watching. I, uh, we could actually uh, do a quick shout out for everybody because <laughs> that's always fun. So we've got uh, Halorasur, Alcite, hello, Mark 2 Cube, Frostflight, Dragonium, Mr. Creeper, Ha, huh? Red Tiger, uh, Amazing, uh, o Oliumptra, <laughs> Death, Death of 23, uh, Jonathan James, I'm probably missing people, True Should Be Told, uh, Shaky Box, uh, Randomness, Inc, Zazzer, G, Haller, Sir, Ike the Odactyl, oh hi guys, that's amazing, yeah, uh, if, if I missed you, I apologize, it's, it's kind of tricky to see, oh, Emerald Spiders, Panzip, Daddy, hello, Mark 2 Cubed, Zazzer G, Wealth, <laughs> Lots of people. Oh, young, black, and gifted. What? Really? Okay. <laughs> All right. So welcome, everybody. Um, yeah, we already have 39 people on stream, so I think we should just get this going. So hopefully that having the chat on the bottom left doesn't mess anything up, but I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll give it a shot. I did that for a very specific reason, which I'm not going to explain right now. So let's just get the show on the road. What do you say, guys? Woohoo! Uh, 39 people. Let's go. We're going to do bracket, of course. Dun, 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 dun. Don't explode! Don't explode! Nothing's happening. Oh. <laughs> Here we go! Wow, this is gonna be intense. Oh my god, you got swarmed! Oh my god, look at all the torpedoes! Oh my god! <gasps> that is Faction 2, that's gotta be. And of course, we've got Nifty Cat, which looks like Faction 1 from here. There's a lot of freaking ships. 312! 312 torpedo ships! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's kind of a, it's kind of a shout out to uh, the old uh, AOL. Instead of you've got mail, it's you've got swarmed. You've got swarmed. <laughs> Smash! <laughs> that's not a service I would subscribe to. Well done, you got swarmed. That is uh, that's how you take care of uh, a lot of big or just a few big ships. Is a whole lot of missiles. How is that even possible? Is that crystalline? Yeah, it's crystalline. It's crystalline. It looked like fashion too. Sorry, my bad. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. They say it's crystalline. I believe you guys. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got it. It's like krill. <laughs> that's insane. That is that's nuts. I I don't know. I don't know. I think we're gonna we're this this is this is gonna get pretty intense. I think some of these uh, big fleets like this, or not big fleets, but quantity over quality, right? And you know, it's different than than Audi Cookme's design in that uh, you know it's just. Even though it's still two guns. Oh, he has one piece of armor on his ship. He has four engines, two guns, and one piece of armor. Oh, no, it's not. No, no, it's just a uh, just a core. Yeah, he doesn't have any armor. So it's this exact same layout as Audi Cookney's. Exactly the same. That's crazy. But just a different faction and a different type of weapon. So, yeah, here we go. And it's, it's almost, it's magical. It's slow, it's methodical, and it's effective. Uh, yeah, 28 seconds to go. He's done 43,000. Oh. Okay, I am going to adjust just a little bit. Some people were sending me messages saying I shouldn't adjust the camera, but it's, you know, sometimes you just, the ca the auto camera doesn't, like, that's, this is auto camera right now, guys. <laughs> the auto camera doesn't cut it, so you've got to kind of, uh, kind of maneuver things a little bit. So I apologize if it gets a little jerky sometimes. I'm trying to smooth that out and be a little bit better at doing this, but uh, yeah, just... <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. And, but look at all... He's got tons of point defense. Uh, you know, this is a right kind of ship to be able to defend against all that with all the laser defense, but I... You know, like, he's still alive! That's something! That, that really is good. that does mean something, but I, he's not going to win this battle. Now, time has slowed down. You'll notice with that many ships on the screen, it it slows, the computer slows down. And there, it's starting to speed up again. So with that much going on, time does start to slow down. That's why these tournaments are taking a little bit longer. Wow, right off the bat, 
just wiped out that ship. Just all of those missiles aiming for the same target at the same time. Just boom, smash. Now, the only thing that maybe, you know, if, if the AI had kept those ships together, but even then, like, how do you defend against that? That is, that is nuts. And you, you technically, theoretically, theoretically, you could put all, like, just build a couple ships and put all of those missile launchers on just a couple ships. And it, would it be just as effective? I don't, I don't know. I don't know because it seems to me that the missiles here are the, are the thing, they're winning the battle, right? It's not, it's not the fact that the ships are small. The ships aren't even in range. Um, it's the fact that there's just a lot of missiles. So theoretically, you should have the points with 35,000 P to place the same amount of missiles in the game, like in the actual match on ships, just not as many. So I don't know. People are saying it wouldn't be as effective as like that, but I don't know. It's you can have just as many launchers, but I, I guess I guess the enemy doesn't know what to go after. I guess I don't know <laughs> because I mean, what do you shoot at? I, I mean, I don't know. Even if they are big ships, right? Your all your point defense, all of your small guns are aiming for the missiles. Like all of your 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 secondary weaponry, your secondary armaments are firing at missiles. They're not actually firing at the enemy. So, I mean, he's lost. You've got swarmed has only lost 10 ships. Well, 11 ships, really. But I mean, because there's just, people are just shoot, like all of your weapons are trying to prevent all of these missiles from landing on your, your uh, <laughs> on your hull, right? So, I don't know. Uh, either way, um, this is gonna take a while. These battles with, uh, I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit because we know how this is gonna turn out. Uh, time has really slowed down. Um, like I said, I, I hope my computer doesn't crash when we hit when we hit uh, these battles when we've got 300 du dueling 370. It's gonna be it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. I, I'm sure the AI can handle it, but I'm sure that we're gonna see a lot of slowdown. <laughs> wow! Uh, run, Nifty Cat, run! I I love I love Faction One designs. I always do because they're just they're very. They're very practical. They're very practical. They're always very practical. And and I just I just like the simplicity of just building ships with lots of big guns and going after the bad guy. And this is one of those situations where that it like you just couldn't do that. There's no way. Like you you can't go straight for the enemy. You you've got to defend yourself and in doing so you're losing the battle because you're going to, you know. I I don't think he lost he didn't actually lose his ship. He just lost by points, right? So, I don't know. He lost all his other ships, but whatever. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, right? All right, so here we've got the evil pickle in his uh, troll ship. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. And versus the Alabaster Navy. I always like that name, the Alabaster Navy. And we've seen that fleet, something like that, or these ships in this comp or in the tournaments uh, in the past, I think in the one-on-one -on -one type battles. And of course, we've seen evil pickle before. And let's just, I'm going to take a, a close look at evil pickle's little troll ships here. Um, kudos for the... So that's all lasers. Defense lasers? Yeah, defense lasers on the outside of those ships, I believe. Let's just see when it gets in close here. What happens? No, those are... Oh, they're not lasers. They're just the little defense guns. <laughs> Crazy. So rather than using armor, he used uh, guns as armor. That's kind of cool. Interesting. And of course, uh, Alabaster Navy has a troll ship of his own. And it's actually quite a balanced fight. Look at this. The points are pretty close. And uh, the Evil Pickle, well, the Evil Pickle has lost a lot of ships. But those troll ships, what a pain in the butt. Like, all of that firepower. Look at it. Tons and tons and tons of firepower shooting into that troll ship. And it's it's hardly doing any good at all. I mean, he will eventually get through. And he is applying a lot of... But look at the point damage is almost neck and neck. This is crazy. And Alabaster Navy only had eight ships total. He's now down to four. Whereas Evil Pickle had 105 ships. Nuts. <laughs> and a lot of B-drones. <laughs> yep, there they are. They're they're eating the Alabaster Navy's uh, little ships there, his little interceptors. Very cool. Uh, by points, simply by points. Bees, bees do a lot of point points of damage. You know, laser drones in general, or lasers in general in this game do a lot of points of damage. So there you go. Yeah, he has kind of a mixed fleet. He's got some some small interceptors and some medium sized interceptors. Both fleets do, as well as a troll ship, and of course uh, a couple, a few big ships on the Alabaster Navy side, which is. Good? I, I I don't know. See, both both are great designs, and it's I, it's pretty fair to say that this is a pretty fair fight overall. We've got a troll ship and some interceptors. Yeah. 
Um, it's just a matter of doing more damage. And the B drones, I just think the, B, the lasers in general in this game do a lot of damage. So uh, naturally, that's what's winning it. And just barely, just barely. So I don't know. Ace, you know, if there was a way to just put a little bit more damage and maybe a little less engine on your ship. But the thing is, I mean, what yeah, I mean, you want to have lots of engines on your ship in case you're going to be fighting, you know, some uh, lots of little guys, right? So I don't know. It's it's a nice balanced fleet, actually, uh, Ace Alvin. So I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, these, and it looks like, I, I just want to take another close look at this. So yeah, it's just these little defensive guns and of course B drones, that's it. And Alabaster Navy, so let's take a closer look at Alabaster ship. Looks like he's got, uh, so it's hard to see, but they're like little uh, plasmas or something on there. Uh, uh, yeah, little either antimatters or plasmas, little plasmas, I think, yeah. So he doesn't have any big guns, which is really interesting. They're all just little guns, really interesting. And all of these drones that are popping off of this troll ship are not doing anything. I mean, they're, they're fighting the bee drones. That's, oh, they're just working intercept. That's really interesting. So I wonder what would happen if all of those drones went for the enemy, you know? Like, rather than just, what? Alex Legs, look at that. What is that? It's like, those gotta be Faction 7. That looked like melee armor. They broke apart really quickly. An orbital space cannon, did that ever look cool? Sorry, I gotta, I gotta move the auto camera here. So definitely a Faction 4, and it looks like Alex Leg was maybe in a uh, Faction 7. And it looks like, I don't know. So, oh, maybe it was just one of the ships had part of it shot off and it looked like it was just a really weird design. But yeah, otherwise they look kind of, I don't know. They look like nesting dolls. <laughs> Um, but yeah, sort of that uh, same kind of genre that we saw with sort of uh, Ethereum and Camo 5's interceptor or skirmishing uh, Faction 4 ships, right? Interesting. Um, Alex Legs, I think his fleet was designed to fall apart. I mean, they looked pretty fragile as it stood. Um, he's got always got a ship there with a obliterator, though. Big ol' obliterator. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Big ol' obliterator. He's all charged up and ready to go. Um, he, he is actually taking him out. One by one, those Faction 4 ships are going down. <gasps> Except he flew into the stream. Don't ever fly into the stream! Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Orbital Space Cannon takes it. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, ah, silly thing. Yeah, that ship is, uh, maybe it's a distraction? Does it have a nuke on it or something? Like, I know he's got nukes here, but I'm not sure where they're coming from. They might be coming from these, these, uh, big ships here. I don't want to zoom in too close because I don't want to miss too much of the action. Uh, trying to see if I can see a... Yeah, there are nuclear weapons on that big fragile ship. Maybe not a good choice because they're going to fall apart so quickly. And it's, it's, I don't know. It's not that it's a bad choice. It's just with, because the nukes are so expensive, um, seems like, but uh, they're doing great this time. Honestly, well, I, you can't say it's wrong when it's, when it's working, right? And this time it's working. Alex Legs wins it. Like, hands down, he got a chance to get those nukes off uh, without a hitch. Whereas last time... Because those ships are so fragile, yeah, the nukes are... Oh, uh, I mean, it is it is using the big Faction 7 armor, but they still fall apart pretty quickly when they're hit with a modular gun like that. Yeah, just... Uh, so we're not seeing that many snipers. We're seeing lots of Faction 4 fleets, but not many snipers, which is really interesting. Like, uh, well, of course, it, it makes sense, right? Because snipers now just really not all that great. Uh, a couple more nukes in the air, but it looks like that was it for their... Uh, Alex's ability to launch nukes unless he repairs that ship. Um, it's really hard to see everything that's going on here from this height, but uh, let's just take a look. I want to see. So this is the one with the obliterator. Yeah. And he, oh, he has a nuke on there too. Okay. So there is still some nukes in the air. That's good to know. And uh, yeah, he only has two, well, eight ships left from orbital space cannons, but only two of the big modular ships. Alex Legs would really have to... Uh, all his nukes are just circling. They're going after the little ships. So that's, you know, I think when you're building a fleet um, for this competition, you always want to have... If you're going to do big ships, that's fine. Do big ships. But make sure you've got a couple little ships. To, this is a perfect example. Why? Because Alex Alex's ships are launching nukes at the little ships, which is a mistake here. He is... It's, well, I mean, he he's not... It's not his mistake. It's the AI's mistake. The AI should be launching the nukes at the 
of course, bigger ships, but it's not. It's it's getting all caught up. Yeah, see there? Yeah, Alex, that's that's why he lost it. That's too bad. It's too bad. It pays to have a few little ships in your fleet. Um, the perfect example of that. Good job, Orbital. All right, so we'll... Ooh, very pretty. Ooh. Very nice. Look at that. Alpha 135 Fire Fleet. Looks very nice. And, of course, we've got Amazing. Yes, Amazing and his... Oh, uh, yes, just more of the same. So these, these ships that fly all together. Look at that. Beautiful. His dumb fire missiles. Excellent, excellent. And one of the... It's it's a winning Faction 1 design, which is fantastic. And we don't, we're don't we not seeing a lot of Faction 1 in these tournaments. We did see some today already, but uh, uh, nothing... not We don't see a lot of unique stuff like this, like where you've got just dumb fire missiles and a fleet that just kind of sits at range like that. So it's, it's interesting. But we did see uh, Amazing's fleet get creamed during the finals. Just completely wiped out. I think he lost every battle except for one or something, which is insane I don't, it was it was remarkable because it was amazing um because i mean it was amazing himself and his fleet uh he's doing quite well here uh which is great great for him bad for alpha 135 i'm so sorry yet your fleet was very pretty it was very pretty also i want to bring something up um while this is going on because i'm pretty sure we know how this is going to end but i just want to do another big shout out for rickabay rickabay um he is one of the uh, he, he's, he's a shipbuilder as well as he does lots of comment. He, he puts down a lot of comments into the, uh, into the comment section of the YouTube. Um, but I also, he also does a little thing where he, uh, writes a comment with everybody's individual ship. And then you can vote on everybody's individual ship for the sweet generous award, which is awards for the prettiest ships. Anyway, I just want to say a special thank you again to Rickabay who does that. He does that uh, on his own. I never asked him to do it. He just does it, which is really, really super, super helpful for for me when I'm when I'm actually trying to figure out who's won for the uh, competition. So yeah, he's a great guy, really great guy. Amazing, you're getting creamed. <laughs> or sorry, amazing, you're not getting creamed. Amazing, you're winning. Alpha one three five um, is doing excellent. Um, for having pretty ships, but unfortunately not so good against Amazing's fleet. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I meant to say his fleet was very pretty, but Amazing is creaming you. <laughs> I'm getting tongue-tied already. 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 Oh my god. Did I just say already? <laughs> I was already giving people heck today for, for saying friends, so oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, spinners, uh, please don't ban us. We're just making some stars. Yeah, you're probably getting banned. I, sorry, I didn't even see who you're fighting against. Jobs! Jobs! Oh, I love the Jobs, but unfortunately Jobs can't. Jobs, oh, sorry, Jobs. <gasps> Crush! Oh. <laughs> I can't believe, yeah, see, I, I was giving people heck about the whole baby talk thing, because that's apparently a thing now, because I said, don't do that! Because it drives me crazy, it drives me crazy in real life too, when people use baby talk. Drives me mad! So anyway, I accidentally used baby talk. I said all wetty. <laughs> But it was actually more of just a tongue-tied thing. <laughs> All right, so we've got Fleet uh, Fleet 235K against what? Uh, yeah, against the other fleet. I'm not going to say that out loud because you know what that says. <laughs> um, very pretty colors. I like the colors. Fleet, uh, fleet it's a uh, faction four. And of course, it looks like snipers. Snipers are going to struggle, but uh, I don't know. Might do okay against, uh, against the other fleet. <laughs> Uh, now everybody's doing the whole baby talk thing. Stop it! Stop it! No, I will not be your friend. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, the snipers are doing quite well, actually, because they've they're not paying attention to the uh, to the snipers at all. They're just uh, they're skirmishing with the littler ships. Yeah, so he's got a couple sniper ships, plus he's got some skirmish ships. I think that's the way to go. I think if you're gonna do big ships, you've got to do some skirmishing ships too as well. You can't just do like five or six or four or five big ships, you've got to have some littler, littler ships that sort of keep the fleet occupied while your main ships, kind of like it would be in, in a real battle with battleships, you know, in space, or at least what I'd imagine a real battle to be. You know, you've got the little ships that are intercepting each other while the big battleships are launching the big, big, big firepower and, and really doing most of the important damage. So yeah, it's it's a brilliant tactic. I Stop typing that. <laughs> So on the bottom left, it, yeah, it's I, I I can't see the chat as easily as I could when it was on the top right. But on the bright side, we can see the ship a little bit better in the top right. But every every time I look down, um, I see somebody talking in baby talk. So yeah, you're fired. 
<laughs> um, all right. Uh, waste 47 against Dark Faction. Oh, I forgot to turn off my phone. One second. <laughs> uh, like, leaving your phone on when you go into a movie. So, Waste 47. Uh, he's got a lot of B drones and Dark Faction. I believe that's B drones. And then Dark Faction is... Looks like Faction 1? It's Faction 1. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Faction 1. And, uh, yeah. Just a, a straight-up Faction 1 fleet. Ah, oh, just... I, I don't know why I like them so much. They're just there's there's a, a a bit of purity about having a faction one just battleship, you know, just with big guns, a few missiles, maybe a couple drones. It's what I pi what I picture like a Terran fleet would be, you know. And that's of course that's the name of the the faction is Terran. It's just what I imagine, just this mixed arsenal of big 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 badass weapons, and I love it. I love it. So yeah, and it's it's of course doing the job here against uh, all of those uh, bees. I believe there are bees. Uh, yes, there are bees. <laughs> Just didn't want to. Did, I hate to second guess myself, but you know, I'm getting better at, at spotting the factions. But yeah, so the bee drones. It's a it's a runner fleet. Absolutely, it's a runner fleet. Look at them go. <laughs> they are launching their drones and try to stay away from the the uh, Terrans, which is a great tactic. Of course, until you run into, yes, you guessed it, the edge. Of course, now space has an edge. Um, but uh, now I'm running out of time. So right, waste one from points, excellent. So yeah, that's that's the advantage. So runners are still working, that's great. So this is the first uh, really good working running fleet that we've seen so far in this in the fleet competition. I don't think we've seen one yet. Uh, and like typically your runner, your, your runner fleets are faction six or the B drones and uh, I don't think we saw any in the 15,000, or we might have, but they didn't do very well. Um, this, these guys are actually pretty effective. So they've got a few guys that are staying well out of range. Well, I don't know if they're all the same ship or not. They might just be. <laughs> might just be. <laughs> I think they are all the same fleet, or the, all the same ship too as well. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Please. <laughs> stop it, you guys. Stop with the baby talk. You realize. Your baby talk is going to be immortal on YouTube forever. Or until I take down the, uh, until I take down the video. <laughs> so, you, you could be, you're going to be like, you're going to be like 35 years old or 45 years old. And you're going to be, and you're going to be like telling your kids, you know, how mature you were when you were a kid. I don't know. I'm more immature than you are, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm the one actually streaming. <laughs> but still, seriously, baby talk? You're going to baby talk your own kids when you're old enough? You might be old enough. You might be baby talking your kids, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is every tourney from now on going to be something? I don't know. I don't know. I, I can only see the first line of your chat. So if you're if you want me to catch something in chat, you've got to actually keep your. It's it has to be like a one liner. It has to be like I don't know, 50 characters or something, because I can't see the second line. Oh, here we go. Oh, Dragonium. Look at that. It is a Faction 7 melee fleet from the looks of it. And of course, you're facing a Faction 4. It is beautiful. Look at the colors. Oh, that is amazing. Look at that. That's incredible. Is that Faction 7? It looks like Faction 7. What? No, those are asteroid engines. That looks like asteroid engines. Crazy. Yes, I can see a Canadian gamer. Welcome. I can see your sample text. <laughs> it's faction one, yeah, because it's got asteroid engines. Crazy. I thought it was. I thought it was. Uh, uh, of course, faction seven because it looked like it was melee armor on the outside, like just on the on the edge there. It looks like he's got uh, melee armor on there to protect it, but it's not melee armor. It's actually just regular faction one armor. Crazy. <laughs> I'm not. Fa I'm not canceling the tourneys. Um, I don't know why you'd ask that, but I don't know. Not canceling it. I do need to figure out a better schedule so that we do more balanced stuff on the channel because I can't just do reassembly. Um, this is amazing. Uh, look at this. So crushing faction four skirmishing ships with a whole lot of drones. Yeah, so that seems like to be the, the primary damage dealing part of Dragonium's fleet here is just look at all the drones. Crazy amounts of drones crazy but he does have good laser defense on those skirmishing ships so they are destroying yeah but madness he just he just did more damage just faction two da or faction four damage crazy 
<laughs> we shall rule YouTube. Yeah, you can't really say that as baby talk, though. <laughs> that doesn't really work. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Yeah, the W's don't really work with that. You can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, the he just. He, but this it looks like this time maybe you are doing a little bit more damage, Dragonium. It looks like you are actually destroying more of his fleet. Hard to say. Look, looks like you've got occupied by something on the on the east side there, which is unfortunate because all of those drones, you know, could have should have been focusing on the sniper ships, which seem to be doing the primary amounts of damage, right? So he's got some skirmish ships and some sniper ships. It's actually a nice little balance, actually, for Madness. Uh, 2552. Two. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, I, all those drones start coming in. You might be in trouble. Oh, there is some uh, some schmutz launchers. Yeah, so I think this time Dragonium didn't lose his big ships this time. So his big damage dealing schmutz launcher ships over here. And they're all coming for the sniper. Oh, no! Here it goes! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice job, Dragonium. Round three. Fight. <laughs> um, so yeah, if Dragonium loses that big ship right away, um, he's in trouble. Is that an asymmetrical ship? It kind of looks asymmetrical too. Very nice colors though. I really like that. It's unfortunate though when it's nice and bright light. When it's beautiful and bright like that, you can't actually see what's in the ship uh, easily. Like if you look at the top right, you can't really see what's actually on the ship. But we do know there's some schmutz launchers and some other stuff on there too. Um, but it looks like it looks like his big ship survived this time. It looks like Dragonium, you are actually going to win this. I feel that you're going to win this unless that sniper can actually take out take out your big ship there. But I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Um, yeah, there it goes. He's gone. All right, perfect. So now all you gotta do, Dragonium, is uh, sorry. I should be rooting for you, Madness, but um, I just like pretty ships. <laughs> I like pretty. See, he. D I think Dragonium was trying to deceive me with his fleet, so that I would say it's Faction Seven by making it look like it was um, melee armor. So I don't know, Dragonium. I think you're trying to play tricks on me, man. I think you're trying to play tricks on me. Yeah, at least Madness is pure. <laughs> but you won. Well done. Good job, Dragonium. Excellent job. All right, so here we got Leo versus Footman 187 at the Kraken spawn. Oh, what? We we'll definitely have some nukes. <laughs> A lot of nukes. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. That's all melee armor. No. No. <laughs> oh no. You know what that means? Oh no! He hasn't he hasn't he hasn't flown into the melee armor yet. Let me just take a closer look. No, that's not melee armor. Oh, okay. That's not melee armor. Uh Kraken definitely has melee armor. I thought they were flying it I thought his ships were flying into the melee armor and dying, but no, apparently not. So I'm trying to understand Leo's fleet here. It is. Sorry, I need to take a closer look here. Oh yeah, it, it has me. So I'm wondering, why didn't you put melee arm? Oh, see, it's bugged too. It's a bugged fleet. Yeah, Leo, unfortunately this fleet would not be legal and it has nothing to do with you. It is, uh, it's just, it's a bug with the game. Right now when certain sizes of fleets with certain types of ships, half of the fleet will end up on one side and half of the fleet will end up on the other. So even, yeah, hmm. Okay, I might have to, make a note here. Just give me one sec. So if you die here, Kraken, Spawn, we're going to push you on to the next round. So. Footman 187. Sorry, I'm just writing this down. Here. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, perfect. He actually won it by points. Okay, good. You can shoot across the border? I don't know. Uh, as soon as he's as soon as he's got enough points, I'm gonna end it. And it's not your fault, Leo. I mean, I don't know if you knew or not, but uh, yeah, there we go. End it. Perfect. Done. There we go. Excellent. Okay, good. Yeah. And it's not like I said, it's not your fault, Leo. It's just it's a bug with the game. And uh, oh, here we go. Kudawat. Kudawat. Look at this. So it's spinners really slow moving spinners like they're heavy spinners and you're fighting against of course the revenge of the cannoneers the return of the sniper so apparently people are trying really hard to prove that faction four is not dead <laughs> but i think that might be a trouble 
or that might blah, 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 blah. <laughs> tongue tied today i'm totally tongue tied today that might be difficult to do at this point but i don't know look at this he's got snipers going everywhere look at him um they if you can't if you even if even if they get if they're in all four corners i mean that might work right but i don't know once they get in close like that look at that they just eat him alive look at the sniper just dead boom toast right and that guy's wow slam <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Uh, is that it? They're gone! Wow, I thought he might have had something there where all the snipers go to all four corners and start shooting into the center. And that way, you know, like, what do you do, right? Oh, broke apart Kudawat's main battleship there! Wow, just crushed it! Look at that, just cut him in half! Oh, wow, the sniper's doing way better this time! But here come the spinners! Oh, those are beautiful, man! Those are absolutely gorgeous. And look at them. They just come in like bandsaws and just fry them. It reminds me of uh, Dan Pick stuff. Sort of a cross between Dan Picks and uh, Ichthyodactyls. Yeah, very cool. Very cool looking. So yeah, with the melee armor, they just come in like bandsaws. And oh yeah, oh, except everybody's on the other side. And Revenge of the Cannoneers has done more damage than Kudawat. Jonathan James, yes, I can see you. Uh, he's doing some... Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry if I'm missing chat, guys. I'm, I'm really focused on the fight here because it... First off, these are very pretty ships, and they look very similar to uh, Ichthyodactyls and sort of operate in the same way as both Ichthyodactyls and Danpix, except not maybe as fast. And it, look look how he's got the melee armor. Like, he's, he doesn't have it all the way around. Like, he just has spikes coming out. So, I don't know. That's a very cool design. It's serrated, essentially. Very neat. Very neat. All right. On to Rip. Oh, Ripley. And zero with an X. I don't know how he wants me to pronounce that. X-Zero? <laughs> uh, what do we got here? So, Rip, those are anti-matters? Big, no, 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 Faction 4, Faction 4, Modular, what? Faction 4 troll ships? Are you kidding me? No. What? How do they aim? I don't understand. How are they? How are they aiming? So, hold on. We're gonna look. We can look close at this. There's modular guns facing like every direction. That is insane. Oh my god, Ripley, you get a gold star, buddy. That, that's you get a you you get a gold star. That was brilliant. I think that was Ripley, wasn't it? Was that was that you, Ripley? I think you're on right now. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. I who'd have thought that? That see, that's that's what I, this that's what the, all of this is about is seeing something that is just totally unique. That's incredible. Um, sorry, I should be focusing here. Ichthyodactyl with his spinny ships, his cool, very cool looking spinny ships, kind of like uh, yeah. And Wone, uh, Wone, just a lot of. So he's does he have any armor on his ships? Uh, looks like Wone has one piece of armor on his ships, and uh, is he using schmutz? What is he using? Uh, no, they're like... Oh, they might be schmutz. They're little schmutz launchers. The little schmutz launchers, aren't they? Pretty sure. So they do area effect damage. Crazy! Ichthyodactyl trying... It's just... They're just too slow, though. Oh, they look so good! They look like... There's a sea creature with, with a shell on it. And I, 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 I should know the name of it, but I don't. And it, that's what it looks like. That's what it reminds me of. And it's just... Unfortunately, fighting against all these little ships, they're just... They're just applying so much damage. Look at the damage. Oh, that's too bad. Wone is beating you with little tiny baby ships with one piece of armor and schmutz. I, I can't be mad at anybody that uses schmutz. So... <laughs> oh, very nice. Very, very nice. The Nautilus. Yes, the Nautilus. That's it. I remember. Yeah, well, it kind of looks like a sea urchin too, but there's a Nautilus. A creature called the Nautilus, I believe. I think it's called the Nautilus. And it just, it kind of has that, that shape. It, sea urchin's kind of like, yeah, but I, I think it's the Nautilus. It's kind of got that spinny look to it. Almost like a Serpensky curve. I don't know, it's, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Here we go again. Uh, it, they, once he gets some speed going, look at it, he just crushes him once he gets some speed going. But he, unfortunately, they just don't move fast enough. So yeah, sorry for zooming. It looked like he had some kind of uh, trolley thing here. Oh, this is actually a ship. Look at this. Sorry, I know I'm, I should be zoomed out, but this is actually an intact... It's his war banner! It's his war banner! That's what I... We'll call that a war banner because it kind of looks like a war banner. 
Uh, if you're unfamiliar with War Banner, uh, I'm going to do a little special on the War Banner um, for the next tournaments. Um, if, and make it an optional thing where people can include just kind of a symbol of your fleet. And I, I think it's kind of a neat idea. And it was compliments of kind name. And uh, if you watched the last stream of the, so the final of the uh, the 15,000 P tournament, it wouldn't be on the video, but it was on the stream. I actually did a little feature of kind name. And we're going to, I'm going to come back to that. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Um, I don't think, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like Wone's got you, buddy. But yeah, I, I would call, you know, I, I sort of, this is your war banner. It's kind of the symbol of your fleet, right? And these guys, although they look very cool, unfortunately, they just, they can't, they can't, they can't go after these little guys. The little guys are just way too fast. And it looks like a 1A, he's got, even though those, those are big, heavy guns, I think, those schmutz launchers. And uh, yeah, he's got, uh, but he does have lots of engines. He's got double the amount of engines as like, say, um, Audi Cook Me and of course, other people with the little ships. So, but... And he still has 378 ships! Holy crap! <laughs> That's nuts! He actually has more ships than the other guy. Crazy! F7 Annihilators. It was it an Annihilator? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, Schmutz Launcher? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't keep track of the conversation. Whatever. Um, so we've got, uh, Thesaurus Sins. I uh, see, I pronounce it Thesaurus. I don't know if that's how he wants me. Thesaurus Sins. And it looks like he's got... Uh, melee armor, I think? Mortars? I call them schmutz launchers. Whatever. You can call them whatever you want. <laughs> um, those look like... Yeah, that's definitely melee armor. Sorry about zooming in there, guys. Missed stuff. And we've got Remix in... Uh... Let's see here. Sorry, I'm gonna have to zoom in again. Uh, drones? Or missiles? Not sure. <laughs> I am totally missing the chat. I uh, zoom. In. Well, I'm trying not to zoom in too much because we miss. Oh, they are faction four. But what is? Oh, I see. So interesting. Very cool looking ship. Look at that. Very cool. Neat, 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 neat. Uh, very cool. Uh, so what else we got here? Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm trying to take a closer look at the ship so that's just got a little modular gun on it really fascinating and these melee ships i'm not quite sure they were supposed to spin or not uh sorry about that guys I sh i'll stay zoomed out here sorry about that or put it on auto on auto see this is auto and sometimes it works great oh look at that <gasps> they're like eating them oh that was great look at them oh that's fantastic i think i think you know if you just did a straight a straight line of melee armor in the front though i don't you know having it like a jaw like that enough well i guess it depends on what kind of ships you're facing if they're little ships it would be perfect but those kind of medium-sized trolley kind of ships i don't know very cool neat uh it looks like you're doing way better this time anyway you actually you've applied more point damage too and that one guy is still spinning up in the top uh top left corner as well <laughs> same deal all right so that auto this auto camera is really awkward. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes it just kind of waves and makes me kind of ill. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, yeah, the thing is, you don't have much for just uh, general weaponry on these. All engines, look at that. Sorry, all engines, look at, isn't that cool? So that's why when you lose part of your ship, you just start spinning. I'm assuming that's, that's the deal. <laughs> Um, when he repairs that ship, will it fly normal again, or is it just going to spin for eternity? Crazy! I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know who's going to win this, either. Look at the points are neck and neck. Absolutely neck and neck. Oh, there he goes! Launched! Wow. Um, he missed, though. <laughs> um, he's aiming for himself. Oh, he's dancing! Look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> weird ships. Very weird ships. But, uh, yeah, Remix won it. <laughs> All right, so now we're on to... Where are we here? I can't read that. I don't know. 
Uh, Proto Colin Organ. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, we had. This is a larger version of what he's had. What he had the other day, and this is of course Lapeps now, and his Ellison, his last stand Navy, which has a very deep and rich history, by the way. Um, if you ever have a chance, check out his channel. Um, he talks a little bit about his his LSN, and he's actually leaves comments about his LSN, his his navy, and the history of it. It's actually kind of cool the way that he describes uh, some of the history of of the fleets. But wow, look at that! So yeah, he's he's trying to be, you know, big, big, big faction four ships with big modular guns. If you've got to have, I think you have to have some skirmishing ships, a lot of skirmishing ships to go along with that. Um, one or two big ships like that, it's just, I'm sure it does tons of damage, but of course when you're facing spinners, first off, spinners is a problem. <laughs> spinners is very much a problem. And uh, will not be in the competition after this. <laughs> but it looks like he's got more than just spinners here. Yeah, because these guys aren't spinning. Yeah, weird. Maybe it's spinning by choice. Wouldn't that be cool if you, you could set up a ship so... I, mean, I think he has multiple different types of ships. Yeah, for sure he does. But yeah, it's just... Yeah, they're just... They're mauling him. <laughs> a lot of drones. A lot of uh, everything. But And this guy, he just can't get a good shot off. That's too bad. That's Well, he got one shot off. Oh, yeah, he's killing him. But very, very slowly. Lapaps Navy. Uh, he has... Or, sorry, Lapaps Navy. The last stand Navy had one ship left. And he still won by points. Still won by points, so I guess there is something to be said. Sorry, I apologize, Lapaps now. You still won. So, yeah. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> oh, crazy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sorry, I just had to focus on what was happening. So Lapaps now, like, uh, he's he must have some really good aiming engines. Oh yeah, he's got, uh, yeah, he's, these are, these are kind of the heavy sniper ships like we've seen, uh, seen before, where they've got the lots and lots of engines in the front and the back, um, both starboard and port, so that they can aim really well. So he's, he's actually getting a few great shots off, which is fantastic. Good job. Good job, Lapaps now. I'm actually super impressed that you built... It, it, you th I thought it was a sniper fleet, but it's not. It is not really a sniper fleet. These these guys these are skirmishing like any other skirmish ship. I mean, look, he's advancing, he's advancing on the enemy and turning and shooting the big, 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 big gun and killing little ships. Um, that's you know, it's just got lots. Of, that's, I'm really impressed actually because we didn't see any good faction four fleets last time. Well, that's not true. Sorry, I take it back. Take it back. Atherians, Atherians, Atherians fleet was fantastic. It was really, really good. But we're seeing a lot more of them now. Um, we saw a few skirmishing fleets, but nothing really made it that far in the competition except for Atherians. Yeah. But anyway. Here we go. So we've got Jonathan James. Is this even legal? Yes, it is legal, Jonathan James. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't be. 190 ships versus 39, Jantera. Crazy. Jantera is using something. <laughs> it's something against something else, which is fantastic. Uh, looks like faction one on the Jonathan James side. Lots of little drones. And uh, I'm trying to see, he's got maybe some, maybe just drones? Hard to tell. I don't want to zoom. Uh, I don't want to zoom in too much. And we've got Faction Seven on the right side with Jantera. <laughs> yeah, essentially it's drones launching drones. So it's little tiny tiny ships launching even tinier ships. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the tactic there. So I, I'm wondering, is that drone better than putting just a single gun on it? I don't know. I don't know. It's, he's, he's doing lots of points damage. Look at this. He's up to 14,000 points, whereas Jantera is up to 17,000. So they're pretty close. And the nukes, nukes struggle with the little ships. I mean, of course, because they're little ships, right? Nukes, nukes, uh, nukes are very slow moving, but they do have a little gun on them too, which does help accumulate points. Look, we're neck and neck here, guys. Oh, wow. Sorry. Everything's falling apart in my office here. One second. I have my whole life precariously balanced on this desk. It's crazy. I actually have a, uh, <laughs> I have a uh, draw your race board actually, so I can keep track of stuff too as well, which is kind of cool. But sometimes it just falls off the desk because, well, that's my life. Sometimes things just fall off the desk. Ah, uh, there we go. So the nukes are off again, but I just, I, yeah, it's just, I don't know. 
I guess I guess that's the tactic is you launch the drone and then you just kind of stay away. What what's interesting is that these these faction one drone ships are not actually trying to keep a huge amount of distance. I, w I wonder if they're all the same. Because you'd think, because they're drone ships, that they would just fly away, kind of like a, a bee drone ship does. But maybe they have to stay within a certain range of their drones. Maybe that's one of the new rules of the games, of the game. Because we've seen, uh, like, that's been patched up. Because we've seen this, where drones kind of stay with their carrier now. So maybe the drone ships, like especially Faction One, they have a limited range. Uh, they have to stay within a certain range of their ship. So I don't know. Really interesting. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes uh, we get multiple ship kills with the, the nukes, but um, the, the problem is there's just a lot of them, right? I mean, we've got 100, well, he's down to 90 ships. Well, he's losing quite a few now, but he's doing tons of damage. It's actually, it's a winning design. <laughs> Fantastic. Beautiful. And yes, it's totally legal. Jantara, I don't remember what your name is, but uh, yeah. It looks like, is that an asymmetrical design? Hold on. Sorry, I gotta zoom in again here, guys. Uh, no, it looks like they're all symmetrical. Maybe. Maybe it has... For a second there, it looks like it looks like he's got some kind of wing or something on it that's maybe not symmetrical. Bees. Didn't look like bees. Because <laughs> they, they were shooting just single shots. I'm pretty sure. Unless I missed it. I might have missed it too. Whatever. I don't even care! Alright, Millennium Swarm. Alright, which is spinners. And Ethan125 in... Wow, look at that. Bizarre. So another really bizarre Faction 4 fleet. It's like it's like people are really trying to find ways to make Faction 4 work. Now against spinners, it's going to be tough, no matter what. Uh, spinners are going to struggle. <laughs> in this com Or sorry, anybody against spinners, they're going to struggle. Uh, faction 4 or not, which is really unfortunate. Because it looks like that was a really neat... Neat kind of fleet from Ethan125. Oh, man, look at that. Just crushed him. Yes. Wow. Uh, there's, there's really no defense against that. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. Unfortunately, Ethan, I think we saw ships from this fleet actually in one-on-one -on -one fights uh, before from you. So, I don't know. Kind of neat to see the whole fleet together like that. Unfortunately, it's... it's Yeah. Uh, somebody's asking if I'm doing both halves today. So, there's going to be three parts. Unfortunately, I'm, not, I'm only going to be able to do one part today. I'm sorry if I'm missing people in chat. I, I don't know if I'm missing stuff. I can't wait to hear your... I don't know. I'm missing stuff in chat. I, I really apologize, guys. I, I just I, I just can't see it as well on the bottom left. I mean, I can, but I'm not watching it as, as closely. I don't know. I was used to watching it in the top right, but I don't know. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so we've got Strongman Bro in his, of course, Faction 4 fleet. Uh, part 2 and 3. I don't know when I'm going to be doing those. I'm going to try and do at least one of them during the week. Um, it just makes my weekend a little bit better, but then I'll probably do one on the weekend too as well. Uh, a lot of planning and thought has to go into when I'm doing these because, of course, the whole household has to be involved. <laughs> uh, I can't. I am starting to watch the chat a little bit better on the one side. So we've got uh, so Garden Gnostics, of course, big big faction one ship. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at them. Yeah, just big old faction one ship like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Whoops. Ah, man. Auto. All right. So, yeah. Modular. Oh, he's got... There's four modular guns in those little in those little beasts. It looks like they can't maintain the stream very long. That's unfortunate. Maybe some power issues there or something. Yeah, if they could maintain that kind of, you know, firepower for any length of time and just, just kind of sweep the screen, that would be very cool. Uh, I've noticed your sample. <laughs> uh... Sorry, I'm missing stuff in chat. I apologize, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so that looks like, uh, yeah, it's it's not a sniper, because, uh, yeah, well, I guess he's trying to be a sniper and, an, and a skirmishing ship at the same time, so he's got lots of rear-firing engines, and he's, when he, he's got the gun, it has lots of blowback on it, that, so he's going back and forth. <laughs> 
Maybe this is a good thing. I don't know. I think he'd probably be better if he was just kind of staying away. But I don't know. Um, yeah, so we're gonna I'm gonna try and do part two maybe sometime Wednesday or Thursday, and then maybe part three on the weekend and maybe the finale on the weekend too, and then wrap up the reassembly tournaments for August because um, I have, we need to get back to regular programming because I'm missing all of the other games. I'm playing other stuff, um, but I'm not recording it because it's all old stuff. I want to get back to the stuff that we were doing because, I don't know. <laughs> I, I like to have a balance on the channel. I like to do reassembly plus other things. And unfortunately, um, right now we have a lot of reassembly. Yeah, it looks like those, those, those skirmishing... Faction 4 ships, they, they fire off a, a, a little bit, and then they kind of die off because they run out of power, which is unfortunate. That is a big Faction 1 ship. Looks like he's got, yeah, big, big guns on there. Huge. If he gets close enough, he's just going to crush them. Nope. <laughs> problem solved. Well, there's your problem. I apologize if there's... Apparently we're having a lot of stream glitching today. I apologize. <laughs> uh, Steam is not fluent. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, maybe in the next couple months here we can I can get my second monitor going and we can play around with Twitch. Twitch is a more dangerous place just in general, though. I mean, I like having a small group of people, <laughs> you know that I can keep up with. Um, whereas if I had have a massive or just a flux of people, random people coming in and out and asking what we're doing, I don't know, it might be kind of weird. I guess I guess people that do Twitch streaming don't really keep track of chat though most of the time. I don't know, I have no idea. If, I guess if you're doing a YouTube video, you wouldn't. Um, I watch a few people that do Twitch and record at the same time, but I don't know. The nice thing about Steam is that there isn't a huge, huge, huge amount of people that watch the stream, so, and I can kind of have the chat on the same screen at the same time. Wow, holy crap, he just, did you see that? Oh, I thought he wiped out a huge amount of ships, but no, he's, he, yeah, he, he only wiped out six ships. I thought it was like, I thought it was like tons and tons and tons, but no, it was only a few. Yeah, you got stream, you got swarmed his back with all of his missiles, uber missiles, look at them all. Yeah, that is the crystalline fleet. So all of those missiles, although each missile individually is very, very slow, when you have that many missiles, what do you do? <laughs> it's, oh, that's crazy. Look at them all. And all of his ships are all together. <gasps> this is going to be messy. So I got to zoom in on this. Oh, here it comes. Oh, but he's got lots of point defense. Enough point defense to maybe take care of this coming in. Problem is, oh no, maybe not. <laughs> wow, look at that. Just one by one. And then the missiles, you know, they change targets and... Yeah, even though he's got lots of point defense, all it takes is one or two of those missiles. Yeah, done. Finished. Wow. The only thing that he can do is fire his main guns to, to keep away, right? His engines won't cut it because these are sniper ships designed to go backwards. Oh, no. Oh, no. There they come again. Hold on. Zoom in. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Crush. <laughs> I don't know. I think Lucky might have a winning design. I think that might be... Uh, I think he's probably going to be in the top. That's my prediction. I could be totally wrong here, but it's it's pretty good. Here it goes. Oh, oh, look at all those missiles. <laughs> oh, he got away. Brilliant. Okay, we're gonna speed it up just a bit. And we know, well, we don't know who's gonna win this. Well, we do. Well, you know, he only, ha okay, so point-wise, look at how little points that you, you got swarmed is done. He's only done 1,236 points, whereas, um, the five minute fleet by Stonic has done 507 points. All it'll take is one more shot from a Stonic and actually destroying, you know, another couple ships. And he may, he may still win this. So, but, oh man, it's time is starting to slow down. And this is where it gets a little slow is when you got that much stuff on the screen. Can you imagine when we get twice as much? Oh, there he goes. Got it. Wow. Wow. That was a lot of missiles. All right, here we go again. So he gets a couple good shots off at the beginning here. This is the only time where Astana could maybe have a chance is getting a couple of those shots off right at the beginning. I am gonna speed it up right away. Um, but you know, if he doesn't do that, then it's pretty much over. Like he didn't even get that, didn't even get as many killed right off the bat as he did last time. Last time he got six killed right off the bat. Yeah, it's not happening this time. <laughs> Just 
that's just crazy amounts of missiles. So those ships, they, yeah, it's got uh, two side engines and two back engines, so they don't have a reversing engine. They don't need it. They're obviously, they're crystals, so they move very slowly, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Crazy. Wow. Here they come. Look at it all. You're just, yeah, you're just, can you imagine being in one of the five minutes, in one of Astonic's ships, seeing that coming? Like, you're just, I, I'd be, I'd be in the uh, escape pod right away. I'll land on ta Tatooine. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That, it looks like Krill. Yeah, somebody's saying it looks like Krill. It does kind of look like Krill, doesn't it? It's like, it's like, it's like little sea creatures. I, I still to this day, like, or with this fleet thing, it looks like something in a Petri dish. Like, I'm looking down and I see the, the corners of it, right? Like, it, we'll say it's a round Petri dish, like an agar dish. And all this stuff, well, not really an agar dish. But a square, like, glass dish with, with uh, some kind of, you know, swamp water in it or something. And paramecium and stuff. It, I don't know. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, uh, I don't know where this escape pod would go either. Tatooine is not here. So, <laughs> um, that's outside of the border. It's kind of a shame. There's nowhere to hide. Like, where there, you, you just can't hide. Yeah, another ship goes down. Yeah, microscope slide. Yeah, I kind of like microscope slide. Yeah, but a big microscope slide with a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> yes, I said Tatooine. <laughs> well, if you're going to have an escape pod, you got to have a planet like Tatooine to escape to, right? <laughs> um, uh, the problem is, oh, those missiles don't have that kind of range. Oh, I guess uh, they're dying before they even get closer. So all of those slow-moving ships have to move in before they can actually apply any damage because, look, it's going to die before it even gets close. Yeah. Yeah, not even one missile. Oh, oh, they're starting to get a little bit closer, and there goes the point of fence. So, yeah. Oh, God. Time is going so slow. <laughs> and that's why some of these fleet tournaments are going to take a little bit longer is because it's not a minute and a half anymore. Um, each fight turns into like, I don't know, five minutes. It's crazy. Oh, go, go, go. Just kill him. We know what's... Well, yeah, no, we know. We know who's won. <laughs> it's weird that the missiles aren't actually, you know, applying point damage like the other ones do. And, you, well, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Done. Done deal. Perfect. You got swarmed. I think you're going to be in the final, probably. All right. And on to Atherin. Ah, Atherin with his Faction Force Skirmishers versus the Evil Pickle and his troll ships. <gasps> Modular guns putting little dents. He's got pimples. Pimples on his trolls. <laughs> um, except his pimples filled in very, very quickly. Good dermatologist, I hear. We'll solve that problem. <laughs> ah, fantastic. I love troll ships. I love troll ships that look like troll ships. There's an artistic thing. You know what? I would vote for, for the evil pickle for the sweet generous. Just because the, I, I would think putting a ship together uh, of that nature in that configuration would take more than just a couple minutes. I know. Um, sometimes. Sometimes it takes some time. Yes, there's only 36. 38 people. 37 people. People are coming in and out. So that's fine. <laughs> Um, I like having small amounts of people on the stream, actually. It makes me... I, I, I'm feeling comfortable with, with 30, 30 to 60 people I'm okay with. But I remember my first stream where I had five people and I was terrified. <laughs> it's still nerve-wracking, right? It's still nerve-wracking because, you know, it's public speaking. Actually, this is a great... You know what? They should incorporate this into public speaking courses. Um, just go stream for a bit. That will help. Uh, you're not doing it in front of an audience per se. Like, not live, but you're still doing it in front of an audience. I'd like it to stay a small community too. I really enjoy it. Um, a lot of people are like, I want you to get big and become a big YouTuber. You know, I, I'm not really here to become a big YouTuber. I'm here to enjoy myself. And as soon as I'm no longer enjoying myself, I'm not going to do it, right? So, it's really that simple. And... I would like to stay small. I don't think it's going to happen because we're continually growing. And I, that's okay too. But I like the small streams. I, If anything could stay small, I would like... Yeah, we are all judging you. Of course you are. Of course you are. That's what this is all about, right? Um, that's what streaming is all about. Judging somebody and criticizing. Because that's what you guys do. And that's okay. And and I hope, I hope there's a small piece of it that is still fun. Because for me, if it's not fun, I don't want to do it. And um, I... Even if the YouTube channel gets really big, uh, not that I think it will necessarily, but even if the YouTube channel gets really big, I still, you know, I like having the small streams. I almost want it to be invite only. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
I just, I like this, I like this small community. Like, I, I look at the chat and I don't get, a, I don't even get enough time to chat on my own channel. Let alone, I mean, imagine if we were huge, I would never, I would never get to know anybody. Whereas I feel like I've gotten to know a, a, a number of people on the channel. Not, like, not no, no, it's not like we, we go for a beer or anything, but, or hang out or go to the mall or whatever, whatever people do. But I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we, 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 we're a little bit more tight-knit than some other communities. And I wish I had more time to, to participate in the comments section and, and be part of the Steam group and all that kind of stuff. I just, I just don't have that time. And if, if we had, if we had 100,000 people subscribe to the channel, which could technically happen someday, I definitely will find it difficult to communicate with everybody. But I'm hoping that we still have, you know, the, the, the core group of people that are, are with us right now are still sticking around. And I, I hope you guys, you know, I hope you guys do because, you know, even if I don't get a chance to talk to you all the time, I really wish I could, but I, I just honestly, I'm still working all the time too. And if I wasn't working a lot as well on top of this, you know, I might have a little bit more time. Wow, beautiful clean sweep from Orbital Space Cannons. Well done, Emerald Spiders. Unfortunately, you got you got hit hard, man. Wow, look at them. Oh, Emerald Spiders, no! I know you're watching, so this must be, no, this is terrible. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, the humanity. The humanity! Oh, spiders, emerald. And you are so emerald. Oh, you're so green. So green, but it's all over. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. You st There's hope. There's one or two ships. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can do it! Um, there is a lot of, a lot of drones. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot from the Emerald Spider. I can't tell what's on that ship. There's side firing guns of some sort on there. I don't know. Is it like... Oh, I can't even see what's on your ship. That's really unfortunate. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you got crushed. Crushed! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, it was good, though. It was good. I, your ships were very emerald. Um, Sandstorm back with his Sandstorm and of course his Mind Spinners and Amazing is getting crushed by Mind Spinners of course. Amazing! Oh, go! There he goes. Done. Well, on the bright side, at least the spinner fights are quick. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame. But, you know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, there's gonna be a lot of hate over spinners. Please don't send your hate my way. Um, I like to think that everybody uh, should be treated equally in this game, and if we allow spinners, build spinners. Um, for the next tournaments, we're not going to be allowing spinners, so don't be mad at people that build spinners for this round. They just built something that's a winning design, so, you know, feel the love. Everybody has to feel the love. Group, big group hug, right? Yeah, you're right. Whatever. I just want to win. <laughs> I know how people think. Oh, hey, we haven't seen a big Faction 1 armor ship for a long time. Look at that. Big, big lots of guns with lots of armor. Wow, crazy. Fighting against... Uh, what do we got here? That looks like... It looks like... Uh, sorry, my eyes are deceiving me here. Is that Faction 1, guys? Looks like Faction 1. With Dumpfire missiles? Kind of looks like it. Crimson Reapers. Halorisser. Yeah, of course it's Faction 1. Yeah, it's Halorisser. Look at it. That, it's all, Actually, this is a fair fight. Wow. I'd say it's a fair fight because it's Faction 1 against Faction 1 and you've got a Faction 1 armor fleet against a Faction... Yes, sorry. Yes, I apologize, Halorisser. I didn't actually look at who was who was doing the fighting. It's Dexius. Dexius never builds fleets like this, does he? Dexius... I think his last fleet was a spinning... spinning melee ship, wasn't it? This is totally different. This is bizarre. <laughs> that... Bizarre. This is not like... This Dexius... I don't think this is Dexius, actually. I think this is actually somebody who's just named their fleet Dexius. Because Dexius uses Faction 7, and his last fleet was a spinning fleet. So I don't think this is Dexius. Um, Halorisser, sorry, I'm quitting the uh, auto camera because it sucks. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Dexius' fleet during the 15,000p tournament was a spinning... Faction 7, and I think he always uses Faction 7, whereas Hellraiser always uses Faction 1, I should know better. And you can tell by his fleet design that it's Hellraiser too. It's kind of got that signature kind of arrowhead look to it, right? But yeah, crazy. I do like, I like that we're still seeing the occasional Faction 1 fleet with lots of armor like that. They're slow moving, and they're probably not gonna win, but I like them, I just like them. I don't know why, they, I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> it brings me back to that original feeling. Notice him. Deluxe, notice him. Notice who? Uh, salty Senpai friend? LOL? No. Uh, Canadian Gamer? Thanks. Sorry, who am I supposed to notice? Sorry, I'm... I don't notice chat as much as I should. Sorry. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. Who am I supposed to notice? And I'll watch. Uh... Delay. Dexius. That is Dexius. Oh, it is you. Okay. Weird. Weird. Okay, so... Dexius, did you not build a... Don't you normally build Faction 7? That's really bizarre. So, the reason I like these, these armored Faction 1 ships is it reminds me... It reminds me of that feeling we had when we all first started playing this game. And we built these ships, right? Remember our first, your first experience playing uh, Reassembly? And, well, for most of us that didn't do mods or anything else, and we just started... Uh, <laughs> what is Faction 7 again? That is Faction 1, right? I'm sure of it. Yeah, that's Faction 1. I think? Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Faction one, but anyway, uh, that feeling when we all got that we all got when we first started playing Reassembly, even back before they even allowed you to play other factions, right? We all played Faction one, and it was it was just I don't know, it was mysterious, and we didn't understand it. It's it's, it's just a good feeling, uh, right? Fleet, oh right. So this is, please don't ban us. We're all making some stars. You know, it's. They got beat up pretty bad. They lost almost all of their spinny ships. They're only down to three. Wow. And yeah, so he, these skirmishing Faction 4 ships have actually done a really good job at taking out some of those spinners. I'm sure that'll make you guys happy. <laughs> I'm sure that'll make you guys very, very happy. <laughs> yes. Uh, and nobody, nobody's really... The only people that are enjoying the spinning fleets are the people that build them. <laughs> so there we go. Faction 4 smashes. Oh, no, still two more ships. Little tiny ones, though. But there is some drones. The drones might help. Uh, oh, oh, so close there. Oh, nice shot. It's beautiful. <laughs> Makes me happy in the pants. Sorry, I didn't say that. Halorister said that. Makes me happy in the pants. It doesn't make me happy in the pants. Um, reassembly doesn't make me happy in the pants. <laughs> it makes me happy in other places, but not in the pants. <laughs> but we learned a lot about Halorister. Because apparently it makes Halorister happy in the pants. It's okay, buddy. I understand. But there is medication. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I don't dislike spinners because I think... Uh, I, I don't want them in the fleet tournaments after this, and I don't like them in the regular tournaments because I think they're a little... They're a little OP. They're just, they're just too good. It doesn't matter. Spinners just... <sighs> yeah, see, I, even when you think... And it's random. And that's the other thing. Spinners can be completely random too, but really we're finding in these fleet tournaments that they're just really overpowered. Just generally speaking, they're just, wow, way over the top. <laughs> I'm not buying meds. I don't need to buy meds. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Stop that. All right. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, we're, well, we're not going to nerf them, but we're just not going to allow them in the, in the tournaments. That's all. Uh, just because, well, they're, they're just too good. And they're really, you know, I still, I still like to think in my, in my little brain, I like to think that, you know, there would be people or some kind of alien creature or some kind of biological creature flying these ships. Although that's not totally realistic to think that in the future, biological creatures will be flying ships necessarily. It, they, a lot of them will be automated, especially combat type things. I don't see why we would put people in ships when we don't have to, but in the future, in the far, far future, I'm thinking way ahead. I know, I know, we all like to think that Star Wars, right, that's going to be a thing and all that. But realistically speaking, I would think that if human beings didn't have to put a biological creature, uh, notice me, Deluxe Senpai, Ender Boy 173. There you go. Are you happy? There we go. Um, realistically speaking, if, we, if, if a human being doesn't have to be on a combat thing, um, of course, we don't want to risk the life if we don't have to. And that's why we have things like drones already in real life, right? So what happens if we get to a point in where we're traveling in space and we actually have to do space combat? Do you think we're actually going to have people on those ships? I, 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 I'd like to think that Star Wars will happen, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's all going to be automated. It's all going to be remote control. You know that. Uh, notice me again with my something. I don't know what your something was, but because uh, I can't see it. It's on second line. <laughs> Ah, uh, so funny. That was a Canadian gamer, by the way. 
I have to notice the Canadian gamer because I'm Canadian. Every time I see the Canadian gamer, actually, it brings a warm place to my heart that I'm actually appealing to at least one Canadian. The rest of them probably hate me. They're like, that reassembly guy. Uh, whatever. Uh, this is awesome. Next Sora. Uh, we haven't seen him yet. What, is he, what has he got here? He's got... Melee. The melee ships of some kind. Uh, I think. I didn't... If, if there was some nukes, I didn't see it. Uh, and of course, Exciter... Exciter is not using spinny ships! Exciter has Audi Cookney's design. What? No, no, they're lasers! So it's almost Audi Cookney's design, except he's using freaking lasers! And he's got one little... He, so he's got one extra engine, so he's got... They're, they're asymmetrical. Bizarre! I, I didn't even recognize it as Exciter because I expected to see spinner ships from Exciter. Look at this. It's crazy. But no, he he's using he's using freaking lasers. Lasers! That's insane! Mr. Creeper, huh? You live on the Canadian border? Well, it's not it's not Canada. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's not Canada. Oh, you're from Toronto. Well, that's good. Um, but if you're on the border, it just means you can't decide, right? So you, you got you're sitting on the fence. That's what that means. And uh, you got to You got to come over. Get off the get out. Get away from the dark side, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The states are not the dark side. I can't say the states are the dark side. Although, if you do elect Trump, I I don't know. Come on, guys, don't elect Trump. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody here cares about politics, but I probably watch more American politics than anybody else. I know, and I'm from Canada, and I watch I watch Trump like I watch Big Brother, and um, well, I don't watch Big Brother, but like I would watch like reality TV. That it's entertaining like reality TV, but it's not. It's don't don't elect him. Don't elect him because he won't be good for um, what are those things where they actually sit down and they talk to each other? Oh, like conversations and meetings with other countries and stuff. It won't go well. I'm just saying, it just won't go well. <laughs> Don't do that. I I would vote for D's nuts. Yes, I would vote for D's nuts. Yes, I know who D's nuts is. His name is Brandon Brandon Owen or something. I don't remember, but uh, yeah, vote for D's nuts if you can. He sounds like a, sounds like a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. Ben Carson seems like he's gonna he would be okay for a Republican candidate if you're gonna vote Republican. Um, I of course because I'm Canadian would uh, vote for uh, uh, what's his nut uh, socialist guy. Uh, uh, oh, Ben, ah, oh, I can't, can't, no, no, <laughs> lovely Lisa is, is, is screwing me up, he, she said Ben Affleck, it's not Ben Affleck, it's, uh, the, that's a socialist guy, I don't know, <laughs> you be quiet, <laughs> the lovely Lisa is trying to help, and it's not helping, <laughs> Sanders, Bernie Sanders, thank you very much, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, brain fart. So Le the lovely Lisa and I have this thing. Exciter he is doing a lot of damage. He's up to 219,000 points of damage. Do I really need to comment on that? Um, but anyway, <laughs> the lovely Lisa and I have this thing. When we can't remember something, we just start spouting out words to try and screw each other up. So she was in the other room going, Ben Affleck, uh, Ben Johnson. Yeah, all those things, right? So no, Bernie Sanders is what I meant. Uh, I would vote Bernie Sanders because I believe in all the things that he says uh, because we are everything that Bernie Sanders believes in and way, way, way more. We have, you know, universal health care, you know, like we never have to worry about whether or not we have to choose whether we are going to live or our children are going to live versus whether we're going to eat, you know, or go into debt, you know, things like that. But whatever, whatever. <laughs> Oh, too serious. Sorry, this is way too political. This is reassembly. All right, so Waste 47 versus Dragon. <laughs> Sorry, lovely Lisa just pointed out that I'm being way too serious. Anyway, so uh, Dragonium uh, in his Faction 1 Trixie ships, he tried to trick me into believing that he was Faction 7, and I think he did that on purpose. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to talk politics anymore. No more uh, politics at all. You can baby talk politics. Go ahead. There we go. Uh, Bernie Sw Bernie Swander. No, that's stupid. No, that's dumb. Don't do that. Um, Waste 47 is his uh, B, B ships. And of course, Dragonium and his Faction 1 ships. Oh, the lovely Lisa. Where did you get that? I thought I was out of stuff, but it was funny. Oh, that's funny. 
Sorry, the lovely Lisa is trying to interrupt me here. She's bringing f funny fridge magnets in here. But anyway, so... <laughs> uh, Waste has a lot of points. Even though he's... he's What? He's... Yeah, Waste wins it by points. Crazy. Absolutely insane. You know, at a glance, I thought, of course, Dragonium was winning, but... Yes. <laughs> the Lisa needs to be added to this stream. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. She is a very funny person, actually. If you if you uh, ever listen to her, uh, go check out some of the early early stuff that we did. Uh, you know, some of the RimWorld and that, where we did uh, joint stuff together. It was pretty freaking funny. She is she is super funny. She's funny, way funnier than I am. Far more talented, uh, personality wise, than I am by far. She makes a lot of noise in the background though, and I can't actually hear what she's saying. So Waste is just applying a lot of damage here. Holy crap! Why Dragonium? All those drones. See, this is a thing. The drones are staying close to their ships now. So this is very different than what we've seen before. Um, well, at least Faction One drones stay right close to the ships, whereas B drones, I think, have a uh, will travel a little bit further. Um, as you can see, like Waste Forty Seven's drones are actually a little bit more aggressive. They're a little bit more assertive than the Faction One drones, which are kind of staying defensive. Like they're destroying all of Waste drones. But of course, they're not going after the enemy, so it's just it creates defensive fleets with when you're using faction one. Uh, people are people are <laughs> they want you to comment commentate on reassembly. You what? I all I know about is grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. She would commentate on making grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup because that's what we're having for dinner tonight, which sounds delicious, very Canadian. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> the more you're around, the more they want you, not me. <laughs> All right, no more Lisa. That's it. You're stuck with me. I'm not nearly as cute, though. <laughs> Lisa for government. Uh, yeah, they want you to run for American American president. Yeah, she is Canadian, too. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Campbell's tomato soup. It is like the best. Lisa, hashtag Lisa for president. <laughs> Lisa 2015. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, I can't hear you, Lisa, because I got the headset on. <laughs> She's talking. You guys are talking. I can't hear you. I can't hear her. Ah, it's crazy. Uh, waffles. Salmon. Somebody finally did a salmon colored fleet. Thank you very much. It's about time. We've needed a salmon-colored fleet in honor of Shaky Box. If he's still here, I hope I hope this makes you proud, say Shaky Box. Um, we needed a salmon fleet because uh, once upon a time, our friend Shaky Box made a salmon-colored fleet, and it did very very well. And we attributed its power to the color salmon. And I'm just really really pleased that uh, Lisa for Illuminati, <laughs> Lisa Illuminati, Lisa Numati. Oh my God! Ah, this is. <laughs> Crazy! Uh, yeah, so I'm really pleased that somebody decided to do another Salmon Fleet. So, oh, there we go. So we've got some snipers sitting way off on the bottom. Fantastic. Oh, fish sticks. Oh, fish sticks would be delicious. <laughs> Not crafts. Are we having craft singles or real cheese? Real cheese, apparently. Medium cheddar. <laughs> Double sliced. Oh, she is the best. <laughs> she knows how to win me. Win me over. Ah, uh, yeah, so... Salmon! I love it. <laughs> Nerf the color salmon. Well, I gotta say, um, most fleets that are salmon, and this is, this is philosophy, most fleets that are salmon do very, very well in this game. That is a fact. Look it up. <laughs> if you color your fleet salmon, you will do well. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that most salmon fleets have done well. So, it's all about how you look at it. It's all about perception. Um, those sniper ships are actually doing a pretty good job at uh, taking out lots of those ships, but it's still neck and neck right now. I mean, there's still only there's only three ships left of Waffle 007. I can't help but notice that everybody wants you to commentate now, not me. Just so you know, and become president. <laughs> Lisa would be great. She would be a fantastic American president as a Canadian person that doesn't care about politics. I care about politics. Well, I don't know if I care about politics. I'm entertained by politics. <laughs> um, yeah. Just, I don't care who you guys vote for. Just don't vote for Trump, please. 
all of you Trump supporters that are now currently on my stream, think about what you're about to do. Um, because he's probably... I'm worried that he might invade Canada. Um, the last I heard, somebody wanted to build a wall here anyway. I don't know. <laughs> uh, too funny. Uh, Salmon, uh, Salmon Fleet didn't do as well this time. It looks like he got... Uh, Looks like he got kind of beat up there. He lost most of his... Yeah, all of his sniper ships are gone. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. There it goes. Oh, there's a lot of nukes. Oh, look at all the nukes coming in. Oh! <laughs> Hearthstone Trump. Oh, yeah, Hearthstone Trump. Yes. Uh, the Trump that streams Hearthstone all the time. I'm okay with him. <laughs> just not the just not the other Trump. That other guy. Look, those nukes are actually hitting. The... I've, we've seen a couple direct hits from those nukes, but those shields are holding up. So it takes, oh, it takes a couple of good shots. That was beautiful, beautiful. That was a beautiful end to the Salmon Fleet. That was amazing. <laughs> and here we go, Ripley. This is, this is, this is probably the most innovative we've seen so far, where it's a troll fleet, a faction four modular troll fleet. But look at Kudawad, he's actually, he's crushing you like, He's getting in there with those melee ships and digging in. Oh, perfect. That's what you need. You want ships to ram. Of course, you want them to be a faction seven. Look at that. Look at that. He's actually taken out two of the, three of the modular ships with the big, big, big. This is amazing. <gasps> Do it again. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is awesome. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Right through him. Look at that. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, can he do this again in round two? That was incredible. Yes, the salmon was a lie. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, Lisa wouldn't even know what she's doing, guys. I would get her to commentate, but she would probably just sing. <laughs> Although that might be just as entertaining. Um, I don't... You guys get mad at me because I don't know what the reassembly factions are. And you really want... Look at this! <gasps> oh, she would do amazing. I know she would do amazing. But she is an amazing person. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. That is incredible. Have you lost any ships? No, Kudawat hasn't lost any ships. Look at that, just digging. Look at him, grind. Oh, that was um. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Here he goes again. Oh, that was incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Five euros. I can't be bought. Five euros for Lisa. They're trying to buy Lisa. They want to buy you for five euros. <laughs> you know, she might be insulted by that one. I think she's worth a lot more. Okay. Well, and this is why I put the chat on, the, those of you that are at home, uh, this is why I put the chat on the left side, on the bottom, because now I can block it off when people start spamming nonsense. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> That's too bad. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe that person might be gone. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, good. He's muted, apparently. I don't know how they did that. Weird. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's the problem with having the chat on the screen, is people can come on and say things and uh, be generally rude and destructive and, of course, creates work. Since they're with the word nonsense. Uh, please make Lisa R something I can't see. I can only see one line. Auto mutes spam. It auto mutes spammers. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, cool. So I guess the system auto mutes spammers. That's fantastic. I didn't know that. Uh, what is this game about? Uh, somebody want to explain what reassembly is about? It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty complex and very artistic and fun and and uh, we have tournaments. And that's what we're doing right now. And Sir Boomalot! We don't see a lot of Sir Boomalot anymore. And he's got, of course, his spinners. And actually, Sir Boomalot, he he came from the world of spinners. I know that he used to do a lot of spinners, spinners early on. But Sir Boomalot goes way, way, way back to the original alphas of this game when he was uh, building fleets to fight against Camo 5. An amazing back in the good old days of reassembly. And uh, it's good to see him back in the competition here. It looks like he had a couple spinners. Um, and he, that's where, you know, his first few fleets that he, uh, he sent to me, actually. And I think he won a tournament or two early on with his spinning fleets, too, as well. So, yeah, it's good to see him back. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like his spinners did so good against Wone. Oh, it's too bad. But good at the same time. Although, I'm starting to think that these little tiny ships are overpowered. Really overpowered. 
just guns, guns and engines. That's all they are. Crazy. So we're almost up to fighting for the final eight. Almost there. Almost there. So that's when we'll start to get a little bit more serious here. Uh, I notice your text, Canadian Gamer, just because your name's Canadian Gamer. Uh, 10 euros for five minutes? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know that Lisa's for sale, necessarily. I, I don't know that that's really where we want to be. <laughs> Lots of reasons to be salty in this, uh, I know. Um, so, is this even legal? By Jonathan James. Now, somebody was saying that... Oh, they are bee drones. I was totally wrong. Okay, somebody was saying they were bee drones and I didn't believe them, but they are. Yep, my bad. <laughs> my bad, they are bee drones. That's why he's doing so much damage. <laughs> Jonathan James, I believe, said that they were bee drones and... Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Weird stuff in chat. Weird stuff in chat. I'm not even going to touch that stuff. All right. So yeah, I think it was Jonathan James that said these are bee drones. I thought they were faction one. My bad, because when you're sitting out here like this, it looks like it's just little shots, but it's actually, those are the drones, and then they get in there and they do their laser damage. I think they're the smaller version of the laser drones. I could be wrong about that too, but they look like the smaller version of it. Pretty cool. Yeah, really when you get that many though, it's nothing you can do. So each one of these ships have one little tiny laser drone. It's crazy. And, yeah, so the sniper's got... Yeah, that's it. Almost to the final eight. I'm curious to know who's going to make final four. My banner will be a steam salt symbol. Hey, I was looking at the, uh, the mods for reassembly. There is... Somebody made salt. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, actual salt. Not just being salty. Salt! That was good. I thought that was really neat, like a plant. I, I think it was one of the first mods that somebody made. It was actually quite neat. I am the most watched. Really? Oh. Oh, I mean, with Steam, I guess I guess 38 is a lot on Steam. I don't have high expectations for these streams, nor do I want a lot of people watching anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I like having a small crowd. It just makes me happy. Besides that, almost everybody that's online right now watching this stream, I have talked to before, maybe not with, but I've talked to before, or, or commented with, um, or talked to them on the streams, and I don't know, I, I just, I like having that intimacy, I, I really like that, that's really cool. 130 mods or so, interesting. Yeah, a large crowd, that's the downside, and that's why, you know, with Steam, that is, it's the good and the bad about having the chat on on this, the stream, the Steam stream. It's because, you know, people can come and just spam it and say really nasty things. And of course you can see it. So when I'm recording, that really, really stinks, right? Um, but on the other side of it, it is nice to see the chat on the screen as opposed to Twitch where you can't see it on the exact screen. It's just easier to see the chat, right? I don't know, right? You don't have to turn your head. I do like that. <laughs> um, Lisa's busy. She is uh, probably eating her soup and grilled cheese right now. And I'm really jealous because um, I'm looking forward to having my soup and grilled cheese with Lisa. Because she is an amazing cook. Because <laughs> Campbell's, honestly, yeah, I know it's just Campbell's, but her grilled cheese is amazing. She, she's a fantastic cook. She's, she's just brilliant. She's good all around. Good person, nice person, strong personality. Um, I can, you, well, I can crop it out, of course. Uh... You mean, can I crop it out of the video? I can crop it out of the video, of course I can. But I, I like having the chat on the screen because I like to, I don't know, I've sort of adapted to chatting with you guys while I'm doing the streams, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if people just coming on to see reassembly like that or not because sometimes uh, I don't focus on the battle at hand, like right now, but it's it's sort of the same thing. We've got Lapaps now who's getting eaten by bee drones and they are slowly turning those guns around and they might take a couple more shots, but I think that's pretty much it. They're a runner. So here we, you know, this is, I'm not trying to win any brownie points. I don't care. Well, brownie points with Lisa, yes. <laughs> I'm always trying to win brownie points with Lisa because she is the most important person in my world. Absolutely, 100%. If I don't, if I don't work hard to win points with Lisa, the bad things are certain to happen. <laughs> Just don't tell my wife. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Just trying to get a reaction. 
Ooh, look at this! Oh, spinners. Oh, Ecor. Ecor looks a lot like, a little bit like Emerald Spider, but not, no, different. Not quite, not as many, I don't know. They're just different. <laughs> um, spinners, of course, uh, crushing it, crushing the scene. <laughs> look at that. Um, the reason I don't upload more is because I will work a very intense full-time job as well. That's why. I would upload every day if this was what I did every day. Um, but I don't expect that to happen any time at all, if ever. So, <laughs> um, if it did, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if, I don't know how well, I don't know, I don't know if I'd do that, but I don't know. Um, right now I do work, I do work full-time job and I work a lot. Unfortunately, this week has been a lot of reassembly and that is, uh, that's unfortunate too, because I like to play a lot of different things and I like to post a lot of different things, but unfortunately this week has just been one thing. And that unfortunately makes my channel the, the reassembly channel. I don't want to be the guy that just does reassembly, right? Because otherwise then when I put up something that's not reassembly, then I get a whole section of my community going, it's not reassembly. We want to watch reassembly. We don't care about this other stuff. And then I start getting negative view or thumbs down on other stuff. And it's, it doesn't make sense. Like, I, like when I put up a darkest dungeon, <laughs> the people that are on the channel are used to terror tech and reassembly. I put up darkest dungeon and people freak out. They're like, we hate this. We hate it. But it's, I know it's just this, the small community or small amount of people that say that stuff, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just want people to like everything because I like everything. I like playing everything. And actually, reassembly is one of those things. I play some, but not as much as other things, believe it or not. I like doing the tournaments, though. I really like it. <laughs> Negative 1,400 subscribers. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> um, I, I will probably continue to do tournaments until nobody's watching them. If nobody's watching the tournaments, I'm not going to do it. Or actually... More so, if nobody's entering the tournaments. Actually, I, I know that the people that enter the tournaments will watch them. Or at least parts of them, or at least join me for the stream. Now, if nobody was entering the tournaments, that's when I know when to stop. I am... Well, how old am I? I'm somewhere between... Somewhere under 100. <laughs> and more than 10. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Chew on that. Uh, Millennium Swarm, uh, of course, is crushing for points, and I think that's how he's going to win, his points. Yeah, the tournament entries keep going up. Strangely, wait, you know what's... <laughs> he's a billion years... One billion years old! I'm older... I'm 12. <laughs> I'm 11, and I've got a really intense lemonade stand that I work at, and uh, that's why I can't upload all the time. 11, Dean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 74? Really? You think I'm 74? Whatever. <laughs> That's funny. What? What do you mean I'm negative? Ah, oh, you guys. You guys. We're on to the final eight! Finally, guys! We made it to the final eight! Okay, so this is where it finally gets to start getting a little bit interesting. How else do you have a wife? Who says I have a wife? I never once said I had a wife. Ever. If you guys can ever find a place where I've... Well, I might have. I might have said that, actually. <laughs> I might have actually said that before, but... Wow, that was quick. Strongman bro got crushed. Crushed. Completely wiped out. Oh, he always still has a ship. Sorry. <laughs> My worf. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> you know, I can't tell. I don't know. Oh, bye, Jonathan James. We'll see you later. It's too bad you have to go. Um... I can't tell anymore what I've told you guys and what I haven't told you guys because sometimes when I'm doing these streams I tell you guys way too much stuff. Sometimes I tell you like so much personal stuff and I don't mean to. Oh, we just cut off his engines perfectly. Did you see that? That was amazing. <laughs> uh, I couldn't see the second line of that Rune Raider. I only saw, haven't we agreed that Lisa is what? I haven't seen the rest of it. <laughs> uh... A lot of missiles. Come on! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Lisa is Rob's granddaughter. Really? <laughs> My daughter? <laughs> uh, Lisa? 
Sorry, I have to I have to bring Lisa in on this one and just to see what she says. Um, the community would like to know if you're my daughter. I uh, are, can everybody hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Okay, I am not his daughter. <laughs> I assure you, I'm not his daughter. Hey, look at those little things. They're so pretty. Oh, they want you to commentate. So there you go, commentate. Okay. Well, they're little. They're kind of pretty, and there's like this red thing exploding like a firework, and these look like sperm. Okay, like they seriously look like sperm. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> okay. When I said I made fun of you before, but seriously, when I you're started, crazy. When okay. I said, see, look, people are enjoying. It. Yeah. When I said, when I said that these things look like sperm, everybody started saying this is getting weird. But when you say it looks like sperm, you it, say it's it okay. It does. It it does. Honestly, guys. Um, really, you know what? A for A for effort, which doesn't. You know, effort doesn't start with an A, but um, for creativity, um, yeah, this is, this is, and now it looks like snow. Now it looks, yeah, look at the snow's moving. The sm snow's moving to the red thing, bottom right end of the screen. Hellerus or Deluxe, Wait. I am your father. <laughs> There's red dots on the screen. I'm not very good at this. You know, it's kind of like watching little kids play soccer they see the ball and How they're all like at all well, like soccer all, no seriously the little kids with the ball they literally all the kids go for the ball on both teams they're just trying to hit a net they don't care which net so all i'm seeing is like little white dots <laughs> aiming for the corner of the oh my God. Uh, the screen and i'm confused how do you know what's going on here i don't most of the time but they oh. expect me to know oh okay like i don't get this at I, all. sometimes in, in situations like this and in a long battle i just sit here and babble and i talk about oh, stuff I that is completely not about the game because i don't know what else to say about there's a lot of missiles on the screen how many times can you say there's a lot of missiles there's missiles? Where are the missiles? I those are, those are actually missiles. Those you're... are missiles? Those are missiles. Look oh, at... geez, those are cool. They look like little comets. Nifty. <laughs> That's nifty. I take it back. They're not sperm. They're comets. So what are they trying to do? Oh, man, it's over. Okay, one more. One more. But I was eating my Everybody was... Cheese. Okay, go eat your grilled cheese. Wow. We can... Oh, faction four. Ooh, interesting. Ooh. All right, what do you think, Lisa? What do I think? Give me your opinion. Well, the little amoeba there, the central amoeba, who just like, it looks, I don't know what the heck, it looks like he's farting, and then he's like farting <laughs> the like amoeba jets. amoeba farting. Oh, and no. then like, there's torpedoes, and there's like a red splashy thing in the upper right hand corner. I don't know what these guys can see, so this is, uh... Well, they can see is, exactly what you see right this now. This is hard to babble. I'm usually pretty good at talking, but this is, this is, you know, I really could use some... Not, you right? have to keep it PG-13. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like... PG-13. Okay, well, I, this is like a light bright. <laughs> Anybody know what a light bright is? Oh, wow. Did you just say light bright? Yeah, it's like a light bright. Look at this. It's just you know, like, people don't use light brights anymore. You know why? Lisa Stake. Because of Lisa phones Stake. and computers? Like, what, what, what good is a light bright anymore? Glow chunks. <laughs> this is cool. I could use this as a nightlight. Sexadelic. <laughs> Uh, good job, Ethereum. Sorry, I gotta I got give somebody credit here because, okay. Okay, sorry. I'm Lisa's not very gotta go good eat her this. grilled cheese because, see, she is just as good at this as I am. Actually, she's better. Well, this is really pretty. <laughs> yeah. Well, Whoa! That... That's psycho. Holy Toledo. Lisa predicts the future. <laughs> That's funny. This is crazy. That was actually really pretty. I mean, like, artistically pretty. Yeah, it's very artistically pretty. It, it's this actually game has really always been artistically cool. pretty. Really, really cool. Yeah. So Howler how do you know who's winning? Well, Howler Assert is on the left. Okay. And he's in these little, well, ships that are smoldering. Uh-huh. And Sandstorm are in these little spinners that uh -huh. are destroying Sandstormer everything. Sandstormer is pretty nifty, so he's a spinny one. I Sandstorm understand. is using spinny ships, and uh, he is absolutely okay. spanking Howler Assert. He is Sir. totally spanking him. I hope, uh... Howler Assert started I hope he's wearing diapers, because he's going to need it. <laughs> I don't think Depends hurt. is going to help at this no, point. No, no. I think going to be hurt. Howler... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. wow. He's going to need a lot more... Good pamper. effort, though. Well... <laughs> no, I mean, like, you guys, he's got a cool ship thing. Look at it. It's like, I, when you're, you don't know if he's turning left. You don't know when if he's shooting when you're right. Dealing with is he shooting left or right or right or left, 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 right, left? You don't know with Howler. Or what is it? How, 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 he's how, how, he's not how, the spinner. How, he's yeah, I know, but I was talking about Howler, sir. Oh, his little oh. gun there, it's like left, right, left, right, 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 Oh, okay, right, so that's, left, yeah, that's yeah. his only, but he did have some yeah. other, he, he must have one little tiny ship here somewhere. I don't see the little gun. Nifty. Well done. Good job for whatever you did. Yeah, well Yeah, done. way to go. Good creativity. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. Um, I 
just think it looks pretty. It does look pretty. Aww. That's one of the things. It's actually fun to watch because it's very mm -hmm. pretty. This would really help me work on my vocabulary. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what this looks like. It's kind of like a science experiment. That's what it's I was really saying. Totally it, it's like a, a petri dish. Yeah. You're looking down yeah, or, 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 a, or, a, or a slide from, yeah. from a swamp, yeah. right? So you got paramecium. paramecium and <laughs> <laughs> Bring her back. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to a corona. Oh, yeah. You're doing Halloran a good sir. job. You're Halloran doing a good job. is actually job. crying right now. He's, he's, watching his so well. he's watching his ships getting Aww, crushed. I'm giving him a mental hug. I'm squishing his head between my the fists of my hands. You know, like the heels of my hands. I'm just like, oh, it, you're doing a good Lisa job. Lisa is mentally squishing your head, Halloran yeah, sir. Congratulations. You are one of the few where she is mentally, she's mentally squishing your head, your, your, your brain, that is. Okay, because they're going to take, okay, go away. What? I thought you wanted me to stay and play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm just making you look bad. That's no, 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 no. I think you're, you're far better at this than I am. Look, pretty lights. This is, all oh, Lisa, Lisa can come on here and say, uh, it's all pretty and it's beautiful and it's awesome and it's so much better. <laughs> Uh, Lisa had her own channel, or has her own channel. She, I'm not going to tell you what it is, though. Maybe I will... Oh, I don't know. The winner of the competition, I will tell you what her, Lisa's channel is. She has, uh, I think, four videos on it or something. It's not a lot. Where she actually tried playing some games online. It was pretty funny. It was cool, actually. Okay, Burn 2002. We got it. You can stop saying that. All right, uh, Exciter versus, please don't ban us, we we're just making some stars by Akawake. <laughs> I did, uh, nobody betrayed, I've already said, no, no. <laughs> uh, Exciter is crushing the spinner though, look at this. So I, ex I bet you Exciter did some extensive testing against spinners. So yeah, the lasers are probably one of the better choices against spinners, just because, um, it just, they just, they track better, right? And they apply a lot of damage. That's great. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done. <laughs> it got quiet all of a sudden. Lisa laughed and you guys were like, aw. <laughs> but she's got to eat her grilled cheese, guys. If she doesn't eat her grilled cheese, she'll be very upset. <laughs> yeah, crush, wow. The second Lisa leaves. The second, yeah, it gets quiet. No, it's okay. Lisa, Lisa is, uh, we used to do some stuff together. You can check out some of our uh, RimWorld stuff where she was playing RimWorld and I was harassing her the whole time. I'm back. Oh, she's back, apparently. What are you, what are you looking up? I'm uh, taking apart my textbook. Oh, she's, my notes my, like, she's apparently things. studying in here because she really, really enjoys. I miss you. She enjoys me or the, the guys here. No, no, I miss you. She wants to participate because we used to do some RimWorld where we did uh, like she would actually play and I would sit there and harass her the whole time. And uh, you had a hard time. I, I struggled because I have control issues and I wanted to hold the mouse and she had to hold the mouse and I don't know. But anyway, I have a unique play style. She has a very unique play style and I, I didn't like anything that she did. No, and I would criticize it a lot. And it was actually pretty funny. Yeah, you did not Br like hashtag bring back RimWorld. Yeah. It was pretty fun. It's the problem is she's in school. And uh, it's, it's, you know, we might, we might do that at some point. Um, actually, you know, there's been like two whole new versions of RimWorld or three or four versions of RimWorld released since, since we played that. So that was, it was super fun. It was super fun, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't game much during the summer. During the summer, it's, it's really tough because uh, she's in school. So may, maybe, maybe during the winter, she might jump on here, but we have to, we have to say really nice things to her. I'm making a reassembly ship with your lamp. Oh. With your okay. They can't see it. No, but you can describe it. Yes. So yeah, the flies. Oh, the flies! Um, and every every time I see that name, the flies, I always think of the movie Evolution, uh, where where the guy he freaks out because he, the fly was in his suit. It's like the flies. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I like that movie. Excellent. Waste forty seven. Uh, the flies. I don't think we saw them at all up to now. I think that was, uh, was that Rune Raiders? I'm not sure who that, no, that was Cool Runes, I think. Cool Runes was the flies. Kuda Watch, so these are the guys that just really, they cut through uh, the other guys, which, look at, they're doing it again, look at that. Beautiful, oh. mealy spinners are actually doing very well in this competition. I'm super surprised. 
Yeah, Evolution. I, I Another one of those movies that was really highly underrated. I It was terrible acting. Most of the movies, by the way, a lot of the movies that uh, I talk about are terrible. Terrible acting, but I just love the premise. I love the premise of the movie Evolution. I thought it was really good. <laughs> Lisa for president. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Kuduat was doing so well. I would have liked to see him move on. From, well, he may still. He may still. But he's, you know, that's the thing with these. The way he's got his melee set up oh he's just getting nuked look at that just one after the other oh brutal oh oh, oh he might have oh no the way he's got his, his melee he's got to be spinning really fast in order for that melee uh melee armor to work if he's not spinning fast enough then it just kind of it kind of taps him along right besides that um he's he's got melee armor too so yeah <laughs> it's a bit of a problem when when you're trying to use melee armor on something that already has melee armor ronald reagan for president, um, wasn't that like 80s? <laughs> wow, crush! Lisa's gone, guys. Lisa has left. <laughs> Out with Robin with Lisa. Every time Lisa comes on and does anything in the channel, everybody's like, ah, oh, ban Rob, get, you know, bring in Lisa. That's fine. Um, you'd get way less videos because she has way less time than I have, and I don't have a lot of time. Wow, okay, Wone is getting. Wow. She is way better, honestly. She has an awesome voice. She has an amazing voice. Uh... Who's awesome? I'm gonna kill her. No, you are. I was talking about you. Oh, okay. I was gonna kill whoever was awesome. Yeah, no, you're amazing. Woo woo! Yeah. Uh, Wone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> New Lisa only series. Um, if Lisa's willing to do stuff on YouTube, I absolutely, I'll set it up. I'll even do, I'll even do the video editing for her. I'll do everything for her, but she has to be willing and, uh, able to do stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Wone is just ripping it. Look at that. Right, I expected all of those, uh, troll ships to do a little bit better, but no, just crushed them. It'll be really interesting to see Wone against, um... Uh, you got swarmed. That'll be really interesting, I think. Uh, ooh, think I think Jonathan James might get crushed here. It's hard to say. Yeah, B drones. Yeah, the B drones don't stand a chance. No, no. Uh, they're he's getting he's getting. Sm well, I wouldn't say crushed. He's still got 170 ships. Yeah, Lisa's gone now. By the way, she is gone. She has left the building. She's a busy girl. Yeah, I thought jo I thought Jonathan James would go down faster with against all those spinners, but he is not. But of course, the spinners haven't been touched at all. The the laser drones just can't compete. There is just no way. I know where you live, Sam. Are you talking to me? All I saw was I know where you live, Sam. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> that she, she's very busy. I, I, like I said, I'm very busy. Then you know, you guys are asking why I don't post that often. Well, I do my best. Uh, for me to put four or five videos a week is pretty good generally. During some times, uh, we get more than even. I've had more than seven in a week, but it's pretty rare. Uh, we do our best, but as far as Lisa goes. You know, whenever she's willing and able, she helps me out. And I don't know if you guys saw, but she was actually in the interview I had with uh, Beyond with uh, Praxia Games that I put up. I think it was uh, three or four videos ago, um, where you get to actually see what she looks like. If you want, go check her out. She's actually on that video. Yeah, I think it's going to be just a point win here by Millennium Swarm. I'll just speed it up a little bit. Weird chat today. Weird chat. <laughs> it got weird. It got real weird. <laughs> yeah, Lisa's actually on. Yeah, Lisa's actually on the video. Yeah, she's in uh, the beyond the uh, Praxia Entertainment interview. Um, so it's I think it was uh, three or four videos ago. Uh, we went to actually visit the guys at Praxia Entertainment in Edmonton, Alberta. They're the guys that are the the creators, developers of Beyond Soul. And uh, we, we actually got a chance to sit down with him. And Lisa was actually on the video and interview him. It was pretty cool. Yeah. 
So every once in a while, I'm able able to uh, use her, which is fantastic because she's 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 brilliant. She's she's really good with the camera, and she's really good. Uh, she's a great voice, fantastic voice. She's pretty and all those kind of good things too. So Meadows, Sam Meadows. What? I don't know who that is. Who's Sam Meadows? <laughs> say Sam Meadows. So is this is this like a Twitch chat? Is this does this happen on Twitch chat too, where everybody's like, say this and do this, just to prove that I notice you? I notice I'm noticing probably every three or third or fourth chat. I do love you guys though. I actually do genuinely do love the community I have around Reassembly. I actually around the channel in general. I just think uh, uh, the community is really good. I love you guys. <laughs> to to <weedos? laughs> But you don't need to keep repeating yourself, because um, that's weird. <laughs> in my channel, I could play... I Sorry, I couldn't see the end of that. In my channel, I could play what? If there's something specific you guys want to see that's relatively new, um, I will give it a shot. But it has to be fun for me, too. So when, when people request things, uh, you know, it, it has to be fun. I have no problem pay, playing something, but it has to be really fun for me. Yeah, I couldn't see... I, I can only see the first line of chat. I can't see the second line. Uh, Millennium Swarm has got it, I think. So I think I'll just fast forward this. I Jonathan James, he's he's killed six six ships, which is really unfortunate, but that's the way of spinny ships. I do love you guys, actually. Ex Exanimia. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Uh, Starbound. I do. I did try Starbound. It's, I have I have some on the channel. Wow, he killed a lot of ships in one... Did you see that? Atheran just killed, like, I don't know, 50 ships in one shot. It was amazing. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, I did do some Starbound. I um, actually did it with somebody else, too, as well. And it was it was okay, but I, I really suck at side-scrollers. <laughs> wow, that was incredible. Beautiful shot. Yeah, he took out, like, 50 ships in one shot, but now I think it's pretty much all over. Oh man. Yeah, you don't have to give me stuff, but if, if there's something you'd like me to play, like I have, what often what happens is I'll try it, and if I feel like it'll be a good fit for actually recording, that's a big part of it. I have to be able to talk about the game, which means I have to be excited. One of the things that I think is my trademark is when I play something, I'm I'm very enthusiastic, right? If I'm not enthusiastic, that means I'm not enjoying it. So you don't want me playing things I'm not enthusiastic about, right? Because that's I think that's that's where I, I'm. You really notice where I'm different on YouTube, I guess you could say, is it? When I play something, I'm really enthusiastic, which means I'm just only playing things that I'm really enthusiastic about. I, I talk a lot too. That is something I guess kind of specific, but not totally specific to me because I know a lot of YouTubers talk a lot. But I tend sometimes I talk way too much. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. When I'm when I'm excited about something, I can't help it. That's what it. Yes, I I didn't miss Fwens. No, I did not miss Fwens. FTL is amazing. I did like FTL. Actually, what about um? There's a new one out called uh, Bounty Train, which is like FTL but with cowboys. Um, I would try that uh, if you guys wanna 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 want me to give that a shot. It's like FTL except you're on a train. So, um, I know we're, we should be talking about the tournament, but. Um, I do like FTL. FTL is good stuff. I haven't played it for a long time, but I do really like FTL. Bounty Train is like FTL in that the train is like the ship, and you get a crew, and they have to do damage control in the ship. And Nobunaga's ambition is amazing, by the way. Thank you, Holler Sir. And I do like Nobunaga's ambition. It's a little ambition. It's a little buggy, but um, I, the reason I haven't played it is it's a little slow. So I don't know. If, I, if people would really like to see it, I don't know. Bounty Train, yeah, it's like it's like FTL, except with trains. So you get a crew, and they do damage control, and, of course, you run into, you know, people trying to rob the train, you have to defend the train, just like, kind of like FTL running in, having, an, uh, you know, getting running into bad guys or whatever. It's actually kind of cool. It's it's really neat. Um, and it's like it's trains and six shooters. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? Cowboys and Indians, literally, cowboys and Indians. But there's some trading, and there's a lot of reading, that's another thing, so I don't know if people would like that or not, but I, I'm willing to give it a shot. FTL, I would do FTL, it's just, it's been, it's been, it's been out for a long time, and I, you know, the problem with putting out something that's been out for a long time is, I don't know, I think you have to have a, a pretty big community to do that kind of stuff, and really get a lot of hits. I don't think a lot of people would watch it, but maybe they would, I don't know. 
I have no idea. Yeah, uh, Cowboys and Indians, I would totally try that. Bounty Train came out last week or a couple weeks ago. And I haven't played a lot of it because I've been debating on whether or not uh, whether or not to throw it up on the channel. But, you know, like, lots of people like FTL. So maybe I will. Yeah, it could be fun. Who to be fun? Nobunaga's Ambition is a little slow, especially the way that I like to play it because I like to... Uh, I like to play with the hardest faction, so uh, like with a faction that only has like one little city and has no resources, so it'll take forever to get out of that little rut until you get to a point where you're you're beating everybody up. So <laughs> I don't start with the big guys. I start with the little tiny guys. Modded FTL. Oh, that'd be interesting. I haven't actually played in it. I played any modded FTL. Koei games, so my my first, one of my first Nintendo, original, like the original Nintendo Entertainment System, not Super Nintendo, original Nintendo was Nobunaga's Ambition on cartridge. The first Nobunaga's Ambition. It was, I, honestly, I played it so hard. I, I So hard. <laughs> it was so good. It's just so good. Prison Architect, I really like Prison Architect too, and I would totally do Prison Architect, but you know, I'm not that good at it. That's the thing. Um, yeah, I would try it, sure. If, you know what? You guys, let me know. I, I wish we had a voting system for this kind of thing, you know, because Romance of the Three Kingdoms, I played on cartridge on the original Nintendo. I played it, again, just as hard as Nobunaga's Ambition. I loved it. I love the old Koei games. So good. <laughs> Prison Architect. I don't know, what, out of the people here, what would you guys like to see the most? Prison Architect, Nobunaga's Ambition, or Bounty Train? Yeah. Just Prison Architect, I, I wish I could be, I wish I was better at it. Because <laughs> I play it, and it just, it takes, it's a long game, right? And I, I'm, I don't put it on super fast, so that's another problem. <laughs> prison, Prison Architect, Bounty Train. So two for Prison Architect, one for Bounty Train. Civ 5. I played a lot of Civ 5 in my life. Bound to Train, Prison Architect, FTL. <laughs> really? People would watch Prison Architect? Okay. You know what? Um, so, sort of a sort of a toss-up between Bounty Train, Prison Architect, maybe a couple people in there with uh, Nobunaga, but uh, yeah. I would play all, any of those and have a, a lot of fun with it. But Prison Architect, see, here's, here's what happens with Prison Architect with me is I sit there and I focus on the individual characters and what's going on with each and individual character and sort of follow their story and it's fun. And the problem is, is that that's maybe not the way that people want to see people play. People always want to see fast forward gameplay, right? You know, playing it as fast as you can to accomplish as much as you can. And I, I, like, I like the individual stories, I don't know. I, I, think, I think I should play reassembly. I should focus on reassembly when I'm doing reassembly stream, but you know, <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. I apologize that I'm not focusing on the game itself. Exciter is actually beating Sandstorm. His spinner, his mind, mind spinning fleet. It's unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. Exciter just beat a mind spinning. Are you kidding me? Wow, I should have been paying attention. I'm so sorry, guys. Wow. This is crazy. Unbelievable. So what's going to happen when Exciter... I bet you with these little lasers, I bet you they're going to do really well against uh, Lucky DGL's fleet too as well. Unbelievable. Uh, burst? Sorry. Uh, burst lasers. Yeah, they could be burst lasers. Uh... Pretty sure they are burst lasers. Crazy. Crazy. Look at that. He still has 171 ships. Uh, Sandstorm is down to 41. Uh, and he's just applying so much more damage. It's I you know the lasers are just great against spinners. It's like it's like the 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 weak point. It's the Achilles heel for spinners. It's crazy. Ah, uh, Starmade. I was having trouble getting into Starmade. Sorry. I should focus on the game, but I just want to point out a lot of people have asked me to play Starmade, and I just found that it was really tough to get into. Just like, you're going to hate me, but I found Minecraft really hard to get into. Just, you know, I, 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 I just 
found it hard to get into. I just <laughs> didn't enjoy it that much. I know, there's gonna be, uh, that's just me. I did like Space Engineers. I played a lot of Space Engineers. <laughs> uh, I played a lot of it actually, a lot. <laughs> Probably a lot more than I should have, back before they even had all the cool stuff. I remember my very first, yeah. It was, uh, it was Space Engineers. And I thought Space Engineers was so much better than StarMade. So yeah, good job, Exciter. I am really impressed. Uh, really, really, really impressed. Yeah, my first vid on here was uh, Space Engineers, I believe. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about people donating. I don't know if there is a, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not anxious to get anybody's money. I'm still going to do all this stuff regardless of whether or not people donate, so that's not necessary. If, you know, if one day it becomes a little bit more serious and I rely on this, like I'm, I'm not able to work because I'm doing more of this stuff, maybe, but I don't know. I don't need, I don't need you guys' money. Keep your money. I'm still going to stream. I do appreciate the thought, though. Yeah, that first video was brutal. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but it's totally not necessary. I don't need donations. It's all good. Uh, Footman, yeah, it looks like, yeah, Waste is actually, you know what, we've, we've maybe underestimated Waste. Waste has uh, has used his little bee drones to great effect, and actually they've done quite a great job at moving his way up. Uh, although, yeah, no, he's, he's got way more points too, wow. Yeah, I, I don't need your money, guys. It's okay. I don't need I don't need to have you guys donate money to me. It's all right. It's all good. If at some point I did get into doing more Twitch and stuff like that, and uh, it became more serious, and this became more of what I did, you know, fine. But I don't need I don't need your money. It's fine. I'm still gonna do just as much content, and I'm gonna continually try to find way try to find ways to do more. So waste. Yeah, look at them scatter. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> look at that crazy look at that so yeah it's the first time in this in these fleets so in these fleet tournaments that we've seen a runner design actually do very very well and i think we're i maybe underestimated waste and i thought that he would be gone pretty quickly but no look at that he's still kicking crazy b drones <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of great streamers out there that you can give your money to that would really, really, really appreciate it. They rely on that as their only source of income. I do, I do still work. Uh, I work a lot actually, so it's okay. And I like doing this. That's the difference. I really like doing this. I, I'm not to say that other people don't enjoy doing it, but I don't know. I, I, I just don't need money. It's fine. Shoveler wants your money. <laughs> He'll take it all. Wow, look at that. Crazy. Outswarmed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fight by Waste47. Well done. And you're in the final four. So we've got Exciter. You got swarmed. Waste47. I'm really curious to see what happens between Exciter and you got swarmed. Oh, Wone's. I think Wone's going to lose here, but maybe not. Uh, Millennium Swarm has already lost, like, eight ships. Wow. Wow. 48 ships? Yeah, but Wone's still got 350 ships. Just sheer numbers. Like, I, I don't know. I think, th I think the spinners are going to go down here. I don't think that we're going to see a spinner on top. I could be wrong. But I don't think Millennium Swarm... Well, ah, uh, no. Wony's got to get in and just apply some damage. He's just... Those ships are too slow. <laughs> Apparently somebody's put up a straw pole. I don't know what for, but... <laughs> uh, funny. I did... 39? Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. And Millennium Swarm is still applying way more damage. I just... I think that Millennium Swarm is still going to win it. But I don't know. At this point, I don't know because... Wone is eating away if he wasn't... His, his force is so divided here. That's the thing. It's down to 25 ships, 44 seconds to go. He has to kill, you know, almost a ship a second here in order to win. I don't think he's going to do it. 
Those ships are just too slow. Monet, if those ships were just a little bit faster, he might be able to pull it off. You know, I would maybe sacrifice uh, 50 of those ships for one extra little engine in the back there or something, just so they move just a little bit faster. Mortars versus burst lasers. I think the burst lasers are going to win it. I think the burst lasers are just going to dissolve those little ships, I think. I I will I can't click on that straw poll right now, so put it in the comments somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea what the straw poll is for. Is that for the uh, what you'd like to see on the channel, or what you'd like to see me play? Because that would be fun. I would really like that. Uh, we need to do some polls so I know what you guys really want to see. Oh, Millennium Swarm is just racking up. Wait, oh, see here, we got a problem. Oh no. See, Wone's ships got all clumped together? Yeah, that's a bad, bad, bad thing. Yeah, because those 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 spinner ships will just eat you alive if you're all clumped together like that. Oh, no, it's still No, it's looking very much like the last time. Crazy. <laughs> Seventeen thousand, thirty-five. Yeah, no, I think it's gonna be the same thing. Most voted for eat or I can't. I can't read the whole thing, and I only see the one line. Most voted for eat our something. <laughs> three hundred plus. Yeah, three hundred plus ships. Like, Wone is not getting destroyed, but he he could lose by points. He lost by points already, so uh, it could happen again. Absolutely, it could happen again, and he could lose this just from points. And it's so close. Like, I I don't I don't want to make any predictions because I just. Yeah, I just I think one of ships are just a touch too slow. If they were just a little bit faster, he might be able to catch up to all. Because look, all of Millennium Swarm ships are now on this side. All of one of ships are on this side. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. He, and it's still two thousand. Well, a little over a thousand points, like thirteen hundred points. Oh man, so close. Seven six ships to go. There's no way. Five. Ships, four ships. No, I would be three ships. Oh, so close! Seven hundred points. Oh, Millennium Swarm wins it. That is so close. Unbelievable. Okay, so I I thought we'd already had. Okay, I see. Wow, that was so close. Wone actually lost that fight. Crazy. Okay, so. I don't know. I don't want to make any predictions here. Um, very good fight. It's unfair, but not. I don't know. Like that seemed like a pretty fair fight to me. I mean, if yes, spinners are are overpowered. We know spinners are OP, totally OP. But um, these really small, I call them. I want to call them Putinesca ships. Very simple ships. <laughs> I just insulted Italians and I didn't mean to. Um, really simple ships. Putinesca ships. Simple. Isn't that, in Italian, doesn't that mean like simple? Like one one ingredient, essentially? Which is essentially what they are. Is they're like a one ingredient ship. Like they're just very simple. They have shields, a core, or no shields. I mean, uh, engines, a core, and a gun. That's it. So, yeah. And they seem to be sort of the overpowered like, I mean, more overpowered in a lot of ways than these spinning ships. Just, uh, can have more of them. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not insulting anybody. <laughs> I'm never intentionally insulting anybody, by the way. So if you ever automatically assume that I'm insulting somebody because you're a social justice warrior on the internet, you're wrong because I actually don't dislike anybody. I am not racist or biased towards anything or anybody. So yeah, it's kind of hard to get me on that one. I may say stuff, but I'm just saying stuff. Sometimes the internet's a little sensitive about stuff. So if you ever feel like you're being, you want to be sensitive about something I've said, you can go ahead, but it's not really going to affect me because I don't mean it. All right. So, wow. <laughs> a supple crumb. Insult me. I can take it. And I do insult people just in general and fun too as well. Just for fun. Uh, what is going on? What, the missiles don't know where to go. The, the lasers are taking out the missiles too, and slowly, with, look at, Exciter is literally, there's, wow, crazy. So they're surrounding the ships. 
<laughs> Still want to bring back Lisa. Lisa cannot come back now. We're on to the final four. So Exciter has surrounded all the ships. So you got swarmed has been swarmed by Exciter. And he, although I, I, I can't predict at this point who's going to win this. I think I think Exciter is going to win it. Just, be, just why? Because he's Exciter? But I don't know. Lucky TGL. He's applied more points damage. So Exciter has to eliminate every single ship or start applying some more serious damage. I don't know, he is whittling away though. And every one of those 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 ships that go down, uh, really, because Exciter can take out two or three of those ships, I think, with those burst later, lasers for every one that he's losing, easy. Oh, there it goes, down to 60. Yeah, I think Exciter is gonna take it, unbelievable. He has to kill, oh no, he's gonna win by points too, maybe. Oh, there it's neck and neck and points, but he's gotta kill, unbelievable, unbelievable. <gasps> Unbelievable! One ship left! There he is, right there! Gone! Crazy! Oh my god, that was crazy! Here we go again! Look at this, all the missiles, they kind of go in the center. Exciter... Uh, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable! Oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> unbelievable! I thought... I, I didn't know what I thought. I just... I figured, I figured maybe the maybe Exciter ships would hold back and try to defend themselves from the missiles. And of course, because he held back, then it would give the missiles some more time to, you know, fill the air. But no, they Exciter didn't give him any chance at all. That's crazy. I'm so sorry if I was super loud. There's no <laughs> what, during the YouTube videos, I'm I'm able to control the 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 noise. I can do some noise canceling or noise reduction so that it doesn't break your eardrums. But through the stream, I can't help it. Right? It it just does it. It just automatically does it. So, <laughs> um, I think I think you can control that in in with other pieces of software, but I don't have that. But wow, this is crazy. So yeah, when I scream, I apologize. <laughs> This is so nuts. Unbelievable. So yeah, he's going to do it again. Same thing. But he only has 44 seconds. So yeah, no, it's done. It's over. But yeah, look, at look, you got swarmed in more points, but it doesn't matter when you have no ships left. Done. Unbelievable. I am not going to be doing the second part tonight. Um, I have too much work to do today, guys, but I will be doing it sometime midweek. Unfortunately, uh, I would love to do it tonight. It's just, I... I I have too much to do. <laughs> I will stay on for a little bit and chat with you guys afterwards, though. Uh, Wone is crushing Waste. Waste is... I think this is finally... Waste has finally met its match. Just sheer numbers. Look at him. He's just... Looks like a battle line. That's what it looks like. It looks like a battle line. Like, like you know, like a total war battle line. You've got all these infantry coming up, and they're just... There's just so many of them. There's just nothing you can do, right? Once you've reached a certain point, there's just nothing you can do. So, Waste, you fought very well, and you made it to the final four. So, for that, you do get a prize, by the way. In case you didn't know that, because you made it to the final four, you did win a prize. Uh, yes, just so you know, any of the final four and any of these tournaments uh, do win prizes, even though we are going to have a finale where all of the last final 16 or the final 12 will be battling against each other. But yeah, um, anybody in the final four of any of these tournaments will win a prize. So yeah, you have won something. Crazy. Look at that. Yeah, I you can't really be a runner fleet against something like that. Like, I guess you could. I guess if they're really fast. I guess if you were controlling the AI, of course, you would do that differently. You would try to, I don't know. Seriously. I'm, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Two, one ship left. And I don't even know where he is. There he is. Done. Over. Good job, Wone. Excellent. Uh, random steam keys. I buy Steam Keys in bulk for uh, for the tournaments, and uh, anybody who ends up in the Final Four wins a random Steam Key. You may also win a Steam Key for the Sweet Generous uh, competition, which is the prettiest fleet. And that is voted on in the comments section. Uh, uh, Rika Bay, who's one of the... Uh, this is the final here. Uh, let me just focus on this for a second. Exciter... Wow, it's neck and neck, guys. Exciter is applying more damage, but as far as ships go, I don't know. It looks like Monet is losing a little bit more. Again, it looks like a battle line. It looks really cool. So you've got, you know, the orange infantry against the blue infantry. And it looks like, you know, like he's being flanked on the right side. Oh, Monet's, Monet's going down. 
He's starting to lose ships. It just... You just can't keep up with those burst lasers. They're just too fast. And they apply way too much damage. Crazy. Look at this. So yeah, the nice thing about the burst lasers is that, you know, it's a little bit of a second charge and they just, they apply like infinitely more damage. Yeah, crazy. It's awesome. Good job. Exciter, once again, you, you never cease to amaze me. You never cease to amaze me, my friend. For different reasons than, I, than Camel 5 amazes me. <laughs> just because you come up with something different every time. And, uh, I don't know. Camel 5 amazes me, too. I like to pick on Camel 5, just because just I can. But, incredible. Absolutely brilliant. Look at him, he's just mopping it up. Once you get to a certain point, it's just like, okay, it's over, right? You know it's over. But I love the formation of the battle line. Watch this. So they all kind of merge together, and then they start spreading out, hoping to flank, right? So, uh, Exciter. Exciter is kind of flanking up to the north, whereas Wone is starting to flank to the south. And, you know, the goal is to try and surround him, but, you know, I think it's also, you know, it's just firepower. And those burst lasers are just better. They're just simply better. So, I'm wondering, for the next fleet tournaments, if we're going to do, make a minimum size of ship. That is something that I will leave up to the community. I'm going to put it out there now. Um, and then you guys can kind of sort of figure it out, because, I, once again, these rules are mostly decided by you guys, or at least voted upon by you guys. And I think... Uh, I think there should be a minimum size of ship. So in a 35,000 P tournament, you know, each ship has to be a minimum of 500 P or 250 P or something. Even that's really small though. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, there is a maximum size of ship, maximum number of ships. That's actually not a bad, that may be a better idea. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I think, uh, Maybe a maximum number of ships might be a better idea. It's just because I don't want to see always the same people up top or always the same ship up top. And really, these ships are the same in a lot of ways as spinners in terms of simplicity. So there we go, guys. That was it. That was the first round of the 35,000 P tournaments. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. I apologize so badly, so much to you guys out in YouTube land. For those of you that are watching and I got so distracted from the tournament, I really apologize for that because <laughs> it happens when I'm doing like an hour long or two hour long tournament. I do get distracted by chat and I do apologize for that. But uh, I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that. Some, uh, some, uh, I, I really, I, I want to point out that Kudawat battle against, um, cause I'm going to rewatch it cause it was that good. The Kudawat battle against Rip, that was amazing. Where he, he literally bladed through the whole thing, and uh, I want to point out Rip's fleet, you know, it's just so, it's so many good competitors here. It was it was a really good, really good tournament. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming to the stream. I am going to end the video now. Anyway, take care, guys. We'll see you later.